Hi everyone, Digga here, and welcome to Chicory. This is a lovely, serene, happy game about a pup, about painting, about finding a missing individual. I promised to stream this when it came out in June. It's October! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> yes, exactly right, Buka. The life of a streamer. I'll do this now. A few months later. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Can you dig it? So, Chicory has a lot of really cool accessibility options, and I want to give a shout out to those really quick. We're going to be playing with a couple alterations here just to help with the streaming experience. I love the yas and the n uhs and the nope. Don't do it. No, thank you. <laughs> We got the flashing effects off. There is an option for wet sounds, and it's actually, uh, it's, a, it's very important because there are people that have problems with like squishy. I looked up what it was called before the stream and I've already forgotten. I apologize. We're gonna keep them on. There's a lot of cool other options. There's, uh, you can have like a fun font style. You can change all that around. I'm gonna keep it fun. If you can't read it, I apologize, but I'll be trying to read stuff anyway. You can change your player health, reaction speed, all that good stuff. But most importantly, the number one thing that Chicory does that's absolutely amazing is they have a content warning because there are certain parts of the game that are going to get a little real. I've been told that I might cry. So I figured, you know, for the stream, I would have it up. And when we get to those points, usually I, Jen says after boss battle or before boss battles and stuff, I'll just kind of um, I'll give people a few seconds to uh, I mean, you can <laughs> leave my stream. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nobody came back! For real, though, it's it's so cool that they have these kind of options, and more games need to do this. Really nice for streaming, because it gives everyone the opportunity to, you know, dip out if something happens. They're not super invasive, and you can basically, once you get there, it'll say, here's the thing that happens. You can skip this. You can skip the bad times. I, however, will not be skipping the bad times. I will be going through them all. I will just give everyone ample opportunity to escape or do whatever you need to do. It's fine. Most of the game is full of happy fun painting and stuff, I think. Shall I begin? Yes, let's do it. Let's go. What's your favorite food? Oh, we got some Earthbound style choices here. Are we gonna get like a PK burger? <laughs> PK <laughs> cantaloupe? Does, it, does this randomize? <laughs> <laughs> you can select. I don't know what my favorite food is. I'm going to type in uh, home, 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 bear, home, bar, home burglar. <laughs> yeah, like tweet some home burglar and fry ours. <laughs> can I fit cheeseburger in here? Cheeseburg. I kind of like this actually. I'm going to stick with cheeseburg. <laughs> the magic paintbrush. It's every stroke fills our world with color. It's a good thing that I'm not blocking the text. Naturally, someone has to wield it. Welcome to story time with Digga. <laughs> Digga plus. Read the story with poem, with goodness, with magic. The brush has been passed down through the ages. You can click and hold to fill things. Oh, that might take, okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this all goes. But the current wielder, Chicory. Note, Chicory is not the name of the dog. The devs have made this very clear across multiple interviews and tweets. Chicory is this rabbit that goes missing, the current wielder of the paintbrush. She's so cool, a total genius. Look at these bright, vibrant colors. Oh no, I am blocking it, gosh darn it. <laughs> Our worlds never look better thanks to her. It's only temporary. And that's why it's up to me to keep her tower clean. Oh, <laughs> this is so freaking cute. <laughs> Here's our main character. Oh, we're going straight up with the clean. <laughs> you play as a janitor, pepperoni. Create GIF? <laughs> You can just jump to create GIF and begin co-op? This is so cool! Anyway, we got to, uh, we got some cleaning to do. Oh. Uh. Well. That definitely was an ominous. Anyway. 
Back to sweeping up the place. We gotta keep it nice and sparkly clean. There is not a single thing going wrong in this locale. We are just having the time of our lives. Sweeping. We're just having the time of our lives sweeping. Nothing's wrong. We're just enjoying life. Crystal clear. We gotta get every single spot. It's like the equivalent of a uh, DK64. Uh oh. Looks like we just got color splashed. <laughs> oh, the shy guys came in and just sucked up everything. Oh no. All of Chicory's colors are gone. I must have cleaned too hard. Oh, what a shame. Well, <laughs> I suppose you should go tell her, right? <laughs> anyway, as I was saying before I was really interrupted by some sort of crazy creature from the great beyond. This place is going to be spick and span, nice and clean. That's looking pretty good. Let's get out of here. Welcome to Wielder Tower. Looking very monochrome, very, uh, almost makes it look a little more, uh, polished. Look at this giraffe. Look at this giraffe! <laughs> Every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> Odd, wasn't there color here earlier? Look at these lovely portraits here. It's Almond, the classic wielder. Wow, they all have their names. I'm gonna be reading all these. <laughs> uh oh, tons of flavor text. So Almond was the first, and after her wielders had more diverse styles, but you gotta respect the OGs. You gotta keep with the original peeps. Who is this funny giraffe person? This one is Carrot. That's not really a giraffe name, but I shouldn't judge. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> it was fine, maybe five out of 10, what? Come on, just, he just gives us a giraffe. He's so high up. He can't see what's down below. Or maybe he's an aardvark and I just can't tell. Really experimental. Even at the time, I don't think he was very popular. Sometimes it's all about that posthumous life, you know? Some painters slave away becoming super famous. They, they want to become famous and they can't quite make it. But then posthumously, suddenly their work is worth millions of dollars. Billions even. I like this little pig right here. That's a very fun face. This one is Parfait, who is colorful, heroic, just like Chicory. There's a ton of wielders, my goodness. Also, I love the uh, the little cute uh, changes to the face on our pepperoni friend with the big old grinning teeth. If she was here, she'd probably say, don't worry, Cheeseburg. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was the name of the character. Oh, I didn't put two and two together. I was supposed to name the, the character Pizza. I mean, I get you did warn me, but I forgot. <laughs> well, okay. This is my interpretation in the adventure of Cheeseburg. Actually kind of works out better. Yeah, exactly. It is my puppy, my adventure. Pizza is just the default, but Cheeseburg is eternal. Oh, you named yours Cheese? Well, <laughs> we're not so different, you and I. <laughs> Don't worry, Cheeseburg. It's funny how my brain didn't make the connection when before this I like typed out, yeah, we're gonna play as pizza and it's gonna be great and it's gonna be a fun time. <laughs> I'm gonna post streamously change the title. <laughs> it's fine that all the colors just vanish for no reason. I should probably stop procrastinating. Story of my life. <laughs> I get into these rambling moments during streaming, but that just makes it more fun. Chicory needs to know what's going on. Let's finish looking at him though. <laughs> no! I want to look at these friends. No! <laughs> I want to learn about uh, Master Oink, uh, the, the bumblebee of Bel Air, um, bulgy eye bun, and shadow peep. <laughs> oh man. I wanted to learn stuff. My flavor text. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, who is this? <laughs> How did my art get here? 
<laughs> Freaking stick figure, <laughs> squeaky mouse. Oh, this is a, a very nice assortment here. We have a um, a very fancy wolf, uh, some kind of uh, giant uh, aardvark, and like a stripy twenties bathing suit or something. We got Slugworth. We got a red panda, some kind of a horse, and a spooky cat. Not telling me their name, so I guess I'm just gonna move on. We got a bird. We got I heart three. Sorry, I square three. Maybe in this universe, hearts are squares. We have uh, a lion here of some persuasion. Oh, Chicory's brush. I'm too busy looking at all of the original artists that I haven't even noticed the literal. Like I was gonna say elephant in the room, but there's no elephant portrait. It, that would have been such a good joke, darn it. <laughs> Let's clean this brush first. You don't know where it's been. You gotta sanitize, you gotta wash it. You gotta be nice and clean. There we go. What is this doing out here? Chicory! You only had two days until retirement. I'm sure she's there, but she left her brush just lying here. Oh no. Oh, what a disaster. But what if I were to take the brush and use it as my own. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Digga. <laughs> what if I use the brush? Just like she would. Alright, Cheeseburg. I'm sure she'd appreciate the help. Look at this face! <laughs> look, at the, look at this hmm, pondering! <laughs> yeah! Maybe at least for a bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a little taste. Ooh. We got a telltale choice here, and that reticle turns into a puppy paw. Already game of the year material. Like it wasn't gonna be close to that anyway. Take it! You got the brush! Nice. Let's color everything! Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> Chapter one, the dark forest. We're starting off with that teal coloring. Very appropriate. Matching my Rice Star shirt here. So you can literally just color anything and everything that you want, and that's pretty fantastic. You can paint, erase, all that good stuff. Supper woods this way. Hmm, very decadent. It's where Blackberry lives. The wielder before Chicory. Now, was Blackberry the one that was to the left of the portrait or the one that was to the right of the portrait? Probably to the left. It's weird that their their hallway has like the, the main newest person is atop the beginning, like right near the door. But it still goes left. I don't I don't know how their architecture works. Maybe she knows what's going on. But I guess we should check the town, or I could just go back inside. <laughs> oh, what a mess! Oh no! <laughs> oh gosh, I gotta clean up. When my parents get home and see this. <laughs> Let's go to Chicory's room. It's locked, of course. Anyway. I'm gonna need to come back with some more colors. I don't know if there's any sort of rewards you get or, you know, anything from having the colors proper. But I guess we'll find out. I don't suppose so. I think it's just for your own edification. When you go back to looking at all of these different rooms, you'll notice how you color them perfectly. All right. I think that was it. I think we're good. But... Slugworth, though. <laughs> I'm totally gonna forget about that in like eight hours. <laughs> Nibble tunnel, supper woods. I do see there's a little bit of a uh, a squeezed out ink thing back here. Oh, we're gonna be picking up litter too. All right, cool, nice. Why didn't I play this at launch again? Oh yeah, too many games. Last few months have just been just jam packed of awesome indies. Oh, well, hello there. How's it going? Time? Thime? Time? Time? I'm about drawing with the other people. If you pause with P and select- Ooh, co-op. Yeah, okay. So that lets someone else be an extra brush. Actually, 
I think this is, um, this is play together, right? So you could have someone, like, one of your friends coloring too, but I guess I could also get in the way, I don't know. It could be fun drawing together, I bet. How would you like a blue bench? This is all I have to offer. There's not much to it. It's fine. Uh, what do I go first? Oh, there's so many people to see. What if I go to the cave or the tunnel? It's probably blocked off. No, that's part of the town. What's to the right then? Does this go to Supper Woods? Maybe? Well, there's so much stuff to do. Instead of deciding what I want to do, <laughs> I'm going to instead bring out Friendly Mall for a question. <laughs> Human asks, what tip do you have for my date on Sunday? Uh, be yourself, have fun. That's too generic, though. You got this. Come on, man. You're good. Just be confident. You got this. That's not sarcasm. You know I mean it. You're audibly laughing at my reaction. I hope so. <laughs> it wasn't artificial. It was genuine. Oh, hey, Cheeseburg. Is that the brush? Did you steal it? <laughs> wow, caught in 4K already. <laughs> nah, whatever. I bet you didn't even know to use the mouse wheel or Z to change color. Oh. Check Ray told me that once. Oh, I thought I only had teal. Oh, well. Guess we gotta paint everything now. I'm gonna be here for the next 12 hours. Oh yeah, advice. Uh, yeah, be yourself. Have fun. If you get any red flags, you should probably bounce. <laughs> I don't know. What are some good red flags? Just like, um... Oh, painted the sky by mistake. That needs to be blue. Am I ever going to paint all these? Is... I don't know if there's a reward for, like, doing these. Oh, yeah, I guess that, too. <laughs> yeah, there, there's some pretty obvious red flags, I guess. Like, if it doesn't affect me... <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm assuming if you've gotten to the point where you're actually meeting that you've had maybe at least a decent conversation or two. I'm not one to use like all the dating app stuff but you know so much of it is just like oh my brush got stuck welcome to dating advice of Digiplus, your number one source of dating theology <laughs> well i feel like there's too much of an effort to uh try to present yourself as like a really funny like perfect person in the first conversation or else you're just done yeah, if you take too long to answer, or if you don't have something really funny to say, the person moves on. I'm really just sitting here painting this, huh? This is my world. I must paint between the lines or I'll face full life consequences. Yeah. If I had brown, that'd be pretty nice. Closest I have is, I guess I can use purple for the ground. A little mushroom friends. That's pretty cool. I mean, my advice, I guess, is just go for it. You know, like with most things in life, if you fail, you fail, but... You know, don't don't start off thinking you're gonna go... You're, <laughs> don't start off thinking things are gonna go bad. Just go for it, have a good time, see how it goes. And I got your back. I'll be watching from the phone. Wait, that sounds weird. Hmm. 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 <laughs> That's all the advice I have to give to you. I gotta send off friendly mole now. <laughs> That's the best I got. Did I hack your phone? Oh, uh, that's uh, classified information. I gotta go. What's that like wielding the brush? I bet it's really cool. It's really cool. Oh yeah. I'm jealous. Can I try it? Actually, I don't know. Does the brush have, like... Do you have to be the next wielder to use it? 
let's give it a shot. This might be a bad idea because uh, Pickle might actually get us into a pickle by being a bad guy. But I'm a very trusting person, so let's just go for it. <laughs> O-M-G. <laughs> it's a pickle. It's me. <laughs> Noise. Well, I can't paint over that. Chicory would never, ever let me touch that brush. But it was super fun. Thank you, lol. <laughs> Do you like my drawing? How much text is in this? Heck yeah, I love your drawing. <laughs> Thank you. Digga gets through chapter one in seven hours. Maybe I should be the next wielder. Wink. There's still text! Being the wielder is sweet, it makes you super cool and important. Everyone wants to be your friend. Wish I had that lol. Okay, well, I'll give you a little bit more to work with here and I gotta move on from the screen. Oh, it won't let you talk to them again if they run out. Okay, cool, that's good to know. I just noticed that this exact second. Oh no! Oh, you can color your friends. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Should I really be choosing, like, how these people look? That is true. I can color myself and everyone, but... I'm just gonna end up being blue, though. Here's a little river. Everything. <laughs> that was some overalls, too. I need more colors. ASAP. Okay, well, you enjoy that. I'm gonna go talk to some more people here. Just plonk some colors down. You can also lock your colors in the menu if you don't want to accidentally change your color. Okay, cool. Also, color choices will change in different areas. Oh, this is just like art school, am I right? Every semester, there's a new color to paint with. How's it going, Lemon? Oh, hello, Cheeseburg. Everything lost color suddenly. What's going on? Gorsh, I'm doing a goofy voice. I don't know why. <laughs> why do you have Chicory's brush? It feels like something's horribly wrong. Well, if you have the brush, can you color my house back in? Uh, however you like. All right, Lemon. Please color in my home. I don't mind how. Whatever you think looks nice. <laughs> this text if you just keep talking instead of painting. Uh, uh, is everything okay? I've never seen everything lose color like this. Okay, well that's a good color for lemon. Let's go with a nice, um... Let's keep the, uh, the base of the house blue. I can't really exactly color in the line. There's a spot here where I, I literally can't color it in. Let's not worry about that. We'll just color, uh, we'll color, we'll call it? We'll color it. Yes, um, I am holding down the button. However, I still can't reach. <laughs> I guess if I just like click for some splotches. There we go. There we go. It's totally fine. Let's give um, let's give these windows a, a different like orangish color. And then the roof can be a, a nice purple. Yeah. I'm not sure what constitutes being fully colored in. This is really chill so far, I like it. Oh, well, was that really good enough? Are you sure? Because I wasn't quite done. I... I, <laughs> I wasn't really finished here. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, th th thank you, but... I'm sorry, C can you erase it a bit? <laughs> Oh, I, I guess I overstepped my boundaries. I'm sorry I was coloring your roof. I didn't realize that was off the table. Oh, you meant hold down if I'm moving around. Okay, thanks. <laughs> that was a that was my misread. You can use right click to do that. I'll tell you when to stop erasing. Alright. <laughs> sorry, I'd like you to erase a bit more. <laughs> Oh, now that text doesn't stop. Okay. 
let's gently erase a tiny amount. Little bit more. A little bit more. We're erasing the whole thing, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's enough. There's no color left though. There's like, it looks like, like a car drove by and splashed all over the front of your house. <laughs> Thanks. It wasn't how I liked it before, but you can color it again if you want. But like if you colored it differently. <laughs> oh, lemon. Everything's going to be fine. Don't you worry. Just a bit more, please. All right, let's go for a different color then. Sure. Let's make this into like a, a nice, I, I keep coloring a uh, cheeseburg by mistake. Just start oozing out. And okay, so that's a really cool feature, but I feel like it kind of takes away from the instantaneous, like I gotta like splurch it a lot. Yeah, the character color locking, that's right. It's the thing you mentioned earlier. I got nothing else to add to that. <laughs> I should do that, but it's kind of funny having it change for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Don't, 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 don't watch this stream. <laughs> wow. Uh oh, are you done then? Oh, you can move the text box. This is super accessible. Why don't more games have movable text boxes? This is so nice. And look at how like stretched out it gets. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy here. Uh, that's fine then. It's just so different from how Chicory did it. I'm sorry, I'm not as professional as Chicory is at this, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> Never seen all the colors disappear like this. Don't worry, Lemon. You're gonna be a nice green now. Yeah, kind of relatable. <laughs> Lemon struggles with change. Change is rough. Where's my my norm? Let's begin co-op. <laughs> okay. We gotta keep going. We should finish chalk, chalking? Talking to Thyme. Sometimes my day is going just fine and then something tiny sends me to a spiral. Welcome to the most relatable game out there. <laughs> this isn't one of those times though. No, everything's fine. Everything's okay. This time it was the entire world suddenly going black and white. Hmm. Getting a weird feeling from everything. Catching a ride to see someone in Brecky. Now that's a cool name. Things always feel better with friends. Isn't that the truth? Unless your friends take you to like one of those really loud party places or... You know those restaurants that always have the music blaring like max? You're like, I don't know why we keep coming here. Because I can't hear what you're saying. The food's good. I guess that's why. But I literally... You're right in front of me, and I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> it's just gonna be the... The Dig Event stream. <laughs> it's fine. Let's let the grass color itself in a bit. Just a couple of fun little splotches as it spreads out into the world. I'm kind of digging the incomplete look, though. Pretty sweet. Oh, what do we have here? Is this a cheeseburg house? It's nice and blue. Oh, there's a payphone here. The only number I have memorized is my parents. <laughs> so this uh, this is basically the help, literally a help booth. You go inside and you talk to your parents and they give you advice. They're the best. I suppose we should at least say hello. It's important to call in. Hello. <laughs> Can we color our parents? 
No, okay. Your mom gives you a hint and your dad tells you exactly what to do. Okay. You can? Oh! <laughs> well, okay, well... I wasn't holding that down long enough. Had to let it seep in. The background, however... I don't think that's gonna be working. There we go. Hi, Mom! What's up? Oh, Cheeseburg! <laughs> I'm glad I went with Cheeseburg instead of, like... Ha ha hom hom burglar. <laughs> <laughs> what a name that would have been. <laughs> Is everything okay? You explain your whole situation to mom. Also, could I get you to hold on to my money? Here's like 50 bucks. Like Pokemon Gold and Silver. You should head to the Supper Woods. Alright, cool. That is where Blackberry is. You'd probably know what to do. Oh! Now, you can't see this, but if I move a little bit, there's a little bit of a, there's a paw going on down here. I do believe, <laughs> I do believe that is a father. Am I going to just be up here from now on? I don't know. Good luck out there. Oh, hang on. Dad's got something to add. You know how he is. He knows the right answer. He can't help but share it. Well, I figure, you know, since this is the first time, we should talk to Dad, because we already know we're supposed to go to Supper Woods. Also, it's interesting because, um, this means that there's flavor text for every situation, where you can get a hint, and then you can be told the solution. I'm like, do I- I'm gonna miss out on that if I don't do it, but I also need to solve things on my own. Whatever, let's talk to Dad. Okay, I'll put him on. Cheeseburg! <laughs> Here's what you gotta do To get into the woods you gotta get fancy with your brush You gotta color in stuff you Gotta erase stuff Yeah <laughs> Okay So that was uh, a little more of a giveaway than I thought it would be but that's fine That's all there is to it you'll be fine out there Your mom likes it when you call I love this music too dur, 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 dur. Don't be a straight- I'm sorry. Do I hear painting in the background? <laughs> you better stop that this instant. I didn't teach you to be a phone painter. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. My parents just hung up on me. Ooh. Just filling the entire world there. So bright and vibrant. I guess I'm gonna be up here from now on. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked. Oh, wait just a second. Whoa. Sorry, running a bit late today. <laughs> Forgot to get dressed. Let me help you out there. Dunk. Better press enter. Fancy. Oh, can we do that too? Oh. Well... Looks like Cheeseburg does indeed have the- This is where the color change option was that I was told about earlier. <laughs> you can change all the different outfits, that's really cool. Has it really been half an hour already? Jeez. Much better. Okay, come on in. What do we have here? Welcome to the shop. We got all sorts of friends here. We have a chill sheep named Oats. We have a bird named Zucchini. And Cola is the hyena, I think? I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, you okay, you okay there, Cheeseburg? <laughs> Kinda got stuck for a second there. How's it going, Oats? Fashion's a way to show this is who I am. And when it's really sublime, it says... This is what the world is right now. But what is the world right now? Hmm. A beanie and a pocket jacket. That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. So we're gonna have to um, come back and show Oats some very fancy suits and stuff. If you can show it to me, I'll give you something cool. I'm sorry I'm not cool enough, I'm out of here. 
<laughs> I'll just go back anyway, whatever. I have to be consistent. You can't move 24-7. Alrighty. So what else is there to do here? We got quite a few friends. We got Zucchini. Hey? Excuse me, I'm working. <laughs> go bother someone else. Wow. Well, if you must know, I'm writing a book. It takes a lot of focus and effort to do. It's very hard <laughs> with someone bothering you. <laughs> Please. I came to luncheon because I've been stuck on my book. But there's so much creative energy here. My ideas are finally flowing again. You're an artist. Surely you understand. Yeah, I guess what? I'm going to make your book purple. How's that feel? <laughs> a beanie and a pocket jacket. Okay. We got the bandana and the overalls. It's not the beanie and the pocket jacket. Let's talk to Cola here. Hey there, Cheeseburg. What's new at the tower? See, Chicory lent you the brush. Well, it wasn't so much lent as it was we took. You know, this is great timing. Just thinking, our shirt design was stale. Want to draw us a new shirt? Ooh. Heck yeah, let's do it. Great. Everyone will be excited. A new wielder did it. Just do whatever you want. Don't forget, you can use Alter X to change the brush size. Ooh. Ooh. Now this changes everything. Literally, like, it changes the background. <laughs> w uh, oh, okay. Um, well. We gotta make a t-shirt design. Also, this is Among Us. We gotta make a t-shirt design. Hmm. <laughs> Can I go outside the lines? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. All right, what's a good t-shirt design? Should we have it cheeseburger themed? Like, uh, it's gotta be like, we gotta have like the top sesame seeds. We gotta have like the oozing patty inside. Have it just kind of be like, oh, that's too big. A shovel digging into a burger. That is a good idea, Jen. I'll do that instead. I, I, let's see here. Okay. Um, how do I fit this in? I'm gonna have to redo my burger. Let's do. Uh, let's do a shovel here. Just look like a big pointing arrow. <laughs> what is this handle? Let's do like. Um, like, there's the shovel, and it's, it, it's like squished into the burger. Ugh. I need color for this. It needs to be, like, I guess that's fine. Get those sesame seeds in there. Get the patty. Kind of just, like, have a little, maybe a bigger size. Yeah, there we go. It's got to be oozing. Here's the bottom. Here's like a little bit of drip. Kind of looks like fangs though. Just a little bit. Let's put some more bun seeds here. Hmm. Now the handle is gonna be covered. I think I could move it a bit, but uh, yeah, let's go for that. Let's, let's move the handle up a bit more. That's the wrong button, okay. That's the wrong angle. We have to have it kind of like, like a designer shirt going up here. It goes right to the neck. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that might get cut off too, but uh, maybe make it a little more impactful. Like add in some cracks or something. Now it just looks like it has, okay. This looks like two angry eyes and fangs now. I kind of like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't have any more colors to work with, so I'm going to assume that uh, it's only black and white. Anything else? I could like color in the background too. I guess it's fine. I think we're good. We have a giant burger with a shovel in it that is actually angry that it got dug into. Yeah. 
Wow, it looks great! If you say so. <laughs> Can't leave without taking one. You got the custom tea. Oh, how is this gonna look? Oh! You know, that actually kind of looks good. It is covered. You can kind of, hmm. I guess I should have expected that Cheeseburg's head would kind of get in the way, but I, I think it looks good. I think it's fine. Maybe give it like, um, like a purple twinge, maybe green. That's kind of sickly though. That's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna wear that for now then. <laughs> have some more color. Enjoy. I'm going to uh, make these different tables nice and shiny. Oh. Well, that makes those look pretty cool. Uh, you can be a blue bird. Even the shades get colored in. <laughs> this is so good. I love it. Okay, let's keep going. But I should probably let the background fill out just for fun. Yeah. Look at that seeping, ooing. Okay, you can't see it, but this bottom area didn't fill in for some reason. I think it's because I already filled it in. There we go. Just pretend stuff is happening down there. Let's go. Let's get a move on. Agah. <laughs> My eyes. It's green everywhere. Looks like there's trees blocking the way on both directions. I should probably go back to the left. What do we have over here? So Supper Woods is... Oh. Well. Down they go. <laughs> Before we do that, let's head back and talk to some more friends. We gotta go to the left side now. See what's over here. We have Pumpernickel and Macaroon. Mmm, Pumpernickel is a great name. <laughs> Chicory thought you were worthy of the brush, hmm? Wielders simply aren't as good as they used to be. I miss the days of Blackberry. You used to have these little things called palm pilots. You could press on them. Thup, 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 thup. You could pen in when you're supposed to do stuff. You now all this big internet stuff going on. You had the, you had the little palm pilot. It was in your pocket. You can write notes. <laughs> I mean, Blackberry is making a comeback, though. They're making that new, like, uh, the retro brick device. <laughs> like, what year is this? <laughs> nice. Hey, Chicory is an amazing wielder. Well, if you like that sort of thing. Blackberry lives just to the southeast in the Supper Woods. We should go and meet her. So what's the lore here? Does that mean there's multiple masters, like... Alive at the same time? I guess like they, they, the newest one gets it and then the one before that retires maybe? Uh, maybe they're still active? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna talk to Pumpernickel again. This is normal for colors to fade over time. No, I'm purple now. Okay, I didn't want this. I want to be black like Blackberry. I want to have the nice big coloring oozing. There we go. But I haven't heard of them vanishing like this. Never seen the wielder's tower blank before. What is to be expected? You leave the brush in the hands of a novice like Chicory. <laughs> I, wow. <laughs> the kind of person that would like at you and say, excuse me, but you are not as good at your craft as you could be. Let me tell you how to do what you're supposed to do. Let me tell you how to do your job. <laughs> Blackberry would know what to do. I'm gonna take your colors. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna uncolor your ascot. There we go. Oh, macaroon. Oi! Miles ain't got colors no more. Fix it. Whoa. Apparently we've ended up at Karen Boulevard. <laughs> Give me some tough colors. You got it? Tough colors only. Chop chop. Oh, hello. Make with the coloring already. Just so make sure it's only the toughest colors. What's a tough color? Is blue, I mean, blue's my favorite color, but like, is that tough? Maybe red too? That, that's kind of tough, right? Oi! <laughs> I'm in danger. Those colors, 
They're so tough. I love them. Yeah. You really did a bang up job. I gotta thank you. You got a brim cap. That's cute. Yeah. I hope you love that hat. As much as I love these tough collars. Thanks again. <laughs> it's really perfect. What is this accent? If anybody comes wondering who's a tough guy, well, look at my house and they know it's me. Couldn't ask for more, thanks. You know, lately, he just starts getting real. It's like, okay, I gotta drop the accent. You know, lately I've been figuring out a bunch of stuff about myself. <laughs> Whoa, this person was putting a persona on the internet. <laughs> I can't believe that this person wasn't being authentic. It's hard to feel tough when you realize that you ain't got the person you thought. You ain't the person you thought. Having a tough look at the house helps the best. <laughs> but having a tough look at the house helps the best. I like the cut of this guy's jib. He knows what he wants in life. He goes for it. I'll finish this house up. Why not? <laughs> Make it nice and tough. I should do it. I should, you know. Not always do the automatic because, gah. Because I need to let these characters know that I'm putting in the effort. Yeah. They need to know for a fact that I am I am putting my skills to the test, being the best. That's not working out. <laughs> oh, that slopping noise though. Ugh. No. That's why people turn it off. <laughs> uh, let's give ourselves a nice, like, purple hat. Yeah. There we go. Uh, you, hey, why don't you get Blackberry to call your house in? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's rude. I'm sorry. Here, you can you can have uh, you can have a green swirl house. It just swirls around and around and around and around and around and around. Oh, how kind of you to color my own. <laughs> oh, but hmm. It's really not very balanced. I'd like to see additional colors. You could use some else to change color. Okay, well, we've already got... We, we've already got, like, the promise of we're helping this person, so... Let's add some more colors in, I guess. Is that enough colors for you, Pumpernickel? Mm-hmm. Can you add more of this color? And less of this color. Wow, okay. How about this? Smiley face roof. Big ol' smile, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda looks like Spirit Tomb. And more purple and less green. Oh, jeez, okay. And more green and less blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Courage and Muriel. <laughs> oh my, what a wonderful balanced set of colors. Thank you for meeting my specifications. It's quite a lovely job. It's wonderful you get my home color without any reward, isn't it? I'm a stand-up guy, I think. Just saying my smiling face must have its own rewards, hmm? Yeah. Even though you're being mean to everyone, <laughs> I will be nice to you. It's a retail logic. Alrighty. Oh, we got a canvas over here. This is gonna be, uh... Bluegrass. Yeah. Canvas number four. This is one of Chicory's paintings, and it got wiped. The Potluck Art Academy is in charge of these. Oh, Potluck? I'm guessing it's right there. Too bad the Chicory's art is just gone. We can make our own art, though. Check this out. I'm gonna draw something fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's a snail. Fare thee well, Sky Snail. <laughs> Fare thee well as you vanish into the azul abyss of the clouds that have come to take you this fine day. Oh, Cheeseburg's house. We're home. It's my house. I guess it's fairly sparse. Keeping the tower clean's always been priority one, I guess. Let's take a sit down. Let's just stop and think for a second here. 
It's been a pretty crazy day. Well, time of inflection is over. Let's color this place blue. Yeah, let's go. Ooze that turquoise all over my house, pretty please. It kind of stops sometimes. I don't know why. <laughs> there we go. I guess you gotta wait for it to kick in a bit more. Nice. The floor can be a lovely shade of uh, purple. The bed, you know it. Oh, wait a minute. I know what we can do. Gah. We can, uh, I was gonna say make a pattern for the wall, but I guess uh, we don't have to worry about that. Let's have it be green. Just fill it all in. There we go. Pretty nice. Now this is a home worth living in. Okay. Cheeseburg's house. Ginger and pea. Oh, and there's a present back there. I wanna get that though. I wanna get that present. I'm sorry. It's very far away, never mind. I'm not getting that present anytime soon. There's too many people to talk to. I wasn't joking when I said like literally this this whole stream might just be chapter one. <laughs> uh oh. Ginger and pea. How'd do, Cheeseburg? Chicory gave you the brush. You developed your style yet? There are so many ways to color. Now what mine would be, I'd use Alter X to make my brush huge. Color everything super fast. Meow. 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 <laughs> it's perfect. That's definitely the best style. I think you can use make my brush smaller. And zoom in. Oh. Well, it makes a noise. I can't zoom in right now, though. Adding the small details. Hmm. Oh, my. Okay. Well. This changes things. I can add a very tiny smile. Okay. You know what's really fun? Hold your your race and keep your brush still. It fills things up super fast. Good to know. Didn't know the brush was passing on. I didn't think it would be to you. A lot of doubters. Aren't you just like her janitor? <laughs> wow, okay. Being a janitor is not something you should laugh at. That is a very, very solid job. You gotta deal with a lot of stuff. And a lot of places, it's actually got some pretty solid benefits. You know, they make fun of it in all the children's movies you saw growing up. Turns out, it's actually pretty secure. You, I guess you just have to deal with, like, you know, the judging eyes of children in the hallway saying, Ha, you're a janitor. And you're just like, Ha, I got a stable job. <laughs> Very rude, P. Chicory always took her job seriously. That is true. <laughs> That's why it's unusual for an amateur to have it. How dare you? Oh well. You got the brush, not us, so you can decide how to paint. Just remember, you can use Alter X to make it smaller or bigger. Also want to paint that bugaboo. Doink! Nice. Sometimes it's nice to take your time, but going fast is always better! Meow. Gotta go fast. How would you like a nice blue house? I like that I can change it, like, mid-pressing the button, too. I'm gonna get that present. Just you wait. It's coming. I'm gonna get it. Should also paint the outside of the house, I suppose. It is pretty limiting just having a few colors, but I, I guess we're gonna get more later, or it's gonna change. Yeah. Oh. What's over here? <laughs> What's inside the shaky bush? How about a tickle? Maybe it doesn't like that color. Maybe it has to be a very specific color. Okay, let's talk to uh, Basil. Hello, hello, cheeseburg. Care for a small gardening tip? 
Some flowers grow when in color, but others grow only when blank. If you wish to erase a colored one, you can use a right click. That's true. Found that out earlier. There's probably something over here, huh? Stop. Step on the rake. Okay. How would you like an entirely cream orange kind of house? I suppose that would be a brilliant endeavor. I'm noticing a very distinct lack of shovel, though. I don't. I don't know if I can approve of this yard. It'll be that much better if you just, you know, you know, just get a get a shovel. Just get it in there and you can start start digging. I don't know what this bush's deal is. I'm just gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get a move on. We have uh, oh gosh. I just wanted to see if there was something down there. There wasn't! Let's get that present. Nice. It's a gift! What's inside? Pocket jacket! Yeah! Let's go for it! There's a whole lot of really cool outfits. I love this. This is so cool. Hold on. I have to appreciate this gift I've been given. This is very important. This is monumentous. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for gift. Nibble tunnel. I suppose we should take a look. Kind of dark, but there's some fairies in here. Little ominous. Maybe. I need to wait for these fairies to kind of move around a bit. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hmm. Technically, I guess I could just try to follow a very specific path here. But it's kind of like going through, um... It's like going through Rock Tunnel without Flash. You gotta have crazy skills for that. Uh, it kind of just looks like... There's not really any openings here, honestly. Like, this is the furthest I can go. I don't know if I have to come back, or... <laughs> I might have to come back. Unless there's like a hidden plant somewhere that I can shrink? Probably not. Maybe I'm just enjoying my time here. Yeah, there's a wall kind of segmented off to the side there. There's one over here. There's not really any movement forward. Maybe if I draw a pathway. Maybe I can go through the left side? I'll get an upgrade that'll help eventually. Okay. I'll just leave that for now. I'll come back in a bit. Essentially, your brush gets a new power every boss fight. Oh, cool. Good to know. I'm usually... I usually just go for, like, trying a million different combinations, and if something doesn't work, I just keep trying. <laughs> Ooh, the screen transition. Gotta find the Potluck Academy somewhere. Okay. Dunk. Yes, very relatable. <laughs> we both know that feeling. I gotta get the uh, the stuff. <laughs> I gotta I gotta be completionist, but not. But I want to be. But I can't be a perfectionist. But my brain tells me I gotta re-render that three-hour-long video because I forgot to take out a duplicate clip, and people will notice. It's fine. Yes, I appreciate the help. Thank you, Jen. I really do. <laughs> okay. What is next? I guess we just gotta go forward. Yeah, we've talked to everybody. There's nothing like the present to get to Supper Woods and go find Blackberry. Actually, can I go down? Oh, we got two paths here. Is that Blackberry? I think that might be Blackberry, yeah. Okay, here's a question. Is it rude to color in someone you've never met before? Like, you're about to have a conversation with this person. Do you change them to be green? <laughs> Is that rude? 
<laughs> Not in this game. Yeah, I guess that's that's fair. <laughs> okay, so we got a cave. We have some other stuff over here. Okay, we there's there's too much stuff. Let's start at the top first. Let's just let's just go systematically. Is there a cat in that tree? What's going on there? Uh, let's take a look, I suppose. Anyway, I'm gonna grab this nice, lovely gift here. Could it be? It's the beanie! Heck yeah. Let's see here. We got the nice beanie on, looking good. Color them multiple times to get- Oh, oh, I, I just wasn't clicking. I didn't even process that. I'm like, I clicked it once, nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I would have figured that out. But I found a lost kid, though. Let's go back to the other one. <laughs> let's make progress. Wait, let's go back, though. Nice. See, I already have it in my brain to want to hold down instead of clicking multiple times again. Let's go all the way back. There's lost children around here. Who is this sassy lost child? Okay. I feel bad for these screens, kind of just leaving them in blank disarray. But I'm sure it's not a problem. Here, I'll, I'll add some purple to this area. There you go. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, was there something else up here besides the present? There is a pathway going that way. Yeah, this is how we got up to her. Okay, all right. Hello, Blackberry. How's it going? I colored you green earlier. I hope you don't mind. Did Chicory give you that brush? Yeah! Okay, well... I wouldn't lie, but... If you want to try that out, I'm pretty sure your bluff's gonna be called. So it's worse than I thought. You don't seem ready. I hope I'm wrong. Come this way. Dunk. <laughs> Wait, what about the cave, though? Mmm. Mmm. Do I go back? I gotta go back. I'm sorry, cool music. I, I saw... Wait. I saw that there was a cave. I have to go explore it. I gotta go. Yum cave! Shouldn't have gone back. <laughs> but it's all lit up and stuff. Look! Look at all these colorful friends. They're like gyroids, almost. Well, what I can finally see in these caves, they will be very bright orange. I was hoping I could take a shortcut there. The answer was no! The answer is go all the way back around because of your curiosity. As is the norm. Okay, let's go. Onward to the woods. With that nice new kick and soundtrack. Look at that mushroom though. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, gloppy. <laughs> Wow! I like that! I bet people don't like that, but I like that. Ugh. Oh, the glop. The goop. Okay, well. Let's get that present first of all. Also, as noted, the colors did change between areas. So we now have a very bright orange. A sort of uh, like a... Um, like a, a grayish dull pink. A lovely yellow. And a lighter orange. Cool. Oh, you can change direction while you're jumping. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What we get? The flower dress. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Well, now that we're here, I guess we should change our color. Give it like um. Yeah, that's looking good. 
So if you want to change like all your colors, period, you have to go to different areas and then you can lock and then you can switch. Mix and match. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, we got another puzzle here, but I see some litter on the ground. Ugh, litter bugs. Also, there's a secret pathway. What's over here? Ooh, another gift. The starry tea. Oh, we, we did just get the flower tea. Let's wear it for a little bit more. Oh no. <laughs> I thought that friend was gonna come down. I guess we gotta go all the way over there. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, it looks like the properties for the mushrooms are different. You can actually like kind of launch yourself. Interesting. I might end up soft locking at some point. My curiosity will get the better of me. I'm going to like launch diagonally into the void. I always find a way to break things by mistake. <laughs> okay. Let's get a move on. Uh, I think I need that one still. I need all of them, yes. Okay. But there's also, uh, I'm gonna go up first. Yeah. It's probably a present up here. Ugh. Oh, look at that fossil, like, gunky door plate that goes into the cavern. Hmm. You got a bow! Oh, that's cute. That's pretty freaking cute. I love this game so much. I already knew I was gonna be enamored. And here we are. Alrighty. Let's go save that little kitty cat. Child number three. Who's losing all these kids? Oh, actually. There is the vine going downward. I'm guessing we don't want to continue down this path because this looks like progress. So let's go back. And we'll go down the vine and see if... Oh, well. Maybe that's a shortcut going up. Okay, it can't be used yet, thank you. <laughs> Maybe that's a... No. <laughs> There's nothing there. Again, trying to do something early. <laughs> I gotta always poke in my nose where it doesn't belong. Oh, it goes both ways once you can use it, okay. Thank you. Oh, here we go. I can actually, here, here's a here's a little glitchy spot. Yeah. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping I could like, like the chicory equivalent of shine sparking, <laughs> get up there. <laughs> But it looks like it resets your position once you hit any surface. Anyway, let's go. Let's alternate these colors to look interesting. Yeah. Get that premium gunk in there. Where does this one go? What's the point of that one? Oh, there's a present, that's why. Okay. Ugh. Let's redo that again. <laughs> yeah, just get back down, okay. It's like they knew I was uh, gonna completely ignore that little tiny entrance. What's here? A hoodie! Okay, we're getting a lot of clothing very fast. <laughs> I don't even have time to process what I'm wearing right now. Let's give the hoodie like, um, like that nice gray color and then the bow can be, um, I think the bow's fine. Oh, I was gonna check out the, uh, the star one though. Yeah. The starry tea. Oh, that's cool. I like that. But if you give me a hoodie, you I'm not I'm not taking that off for a while. Let's be real. Also, I need to go back the other way. Yeah, there we go. Let's color those spooky trees. Oh yeah, I did see uh, I, I did get one of those hidden gifts earlier, the sparkly ones. I will keep an eye out for those, much like the the money trees in Animal Crossing. Let's go in the scary cave. I appreciate the reminder, thank you. Yum cave. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that this little area here requires a power up to cut through the vines or something. Uh oh, backtracking. Oh, there's a lovely house here though. 
And a kitty cat. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like a 20 hour game. The way I play it. I might 100% this actually, unless it's hard. Well, I have 100 percent and much less for more, much more. <laughs> I like this a lot. I knew I would. Let's color in uh, a good portion of this house here. Oh, it's empty. Um, much like the Pokemon games, we will sit on this empty bed and just kind of enjoy the vibes as the orange seeps into the entirety of the world, taking it over with a tangerine delight. And the floor is going to be a color of two. Welcome to the Halloween room, I guess. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, 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 da, da, dun. That's a nice little house. There's a phone booth here, too. Well, I don't need a hint, but I do like the flavor text. I do like it a lot. <laughs> it's me, Mom. <laughs> How you doing? Look around for Blackberry. Yep. She must be nearby. Oh, hang on. Dad's got something to add. I mean, I don't need the hint, but I'd like to hear the text. Oh, well. No problem, sweetie. <laughs> the hand just moves away. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, uh, that's ominous. When you get near one of the darker trees, the screen kind of starts getting more like... Corrupted? Slightly concerning. Oh, very concerning. Let's not go that way. That way is a bad time. Let's go right instead. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's an entire, like, pathway here. Okay, cool. Gonna go on a massive journey. Okay. I suppose I should actually uh, plan this out first. There we go. We have a nice auburn gift. What's in here? Oh, a scarf. Mmm, I mean, that's really good, but... But a hoodie, though. A scarf is nice, but a hoodie will keep you super nice and insulated and warm. It's a good time. Well, I suppose um, we do have to go forward now. You can wear the scarf and the hoodie. Well, let's give that a test. Oh, it's a... Okay, it's considered a hat. Never mind. I didn't process that. Um, I mean, a red scarf is pretty classic, but I like the yellow. Accessories and outfits. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I should have put two and two together, but I didn't. Let's gotta move on. We're gonna go through the spooky forest. It's gonna be, um, it's not a good time, but I'm sure we're gonna make it through safely. Yeah. Remember this vine here for later. Ugh. Ooh, Ooh that, that noise, I love it so much. It's so bad, but so good. Ooh, the screen's in closing. Mm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh oh. Well, this isn't good. You can't color this. You can color kind of the entrance. Giant shadow tree of the floor. What is your wisdom? Nope. 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 I'm out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have to progress, though. Okay, well, it's a little spooky, but let's have fun with it. Down into the depths we go. As the music stops. I'm sure that everything will be just fine. It's fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen. 
Yeah, see? You finally made it. This is what I wanted to show you. Never seen anything like it. But if Chikri thinks you deserve the brush, it's your responsibility to face it. What exactly is going on? What happened to my apprentice's colors? And where is she? Who knows? Duh! <laughs> I wasn't surprised by that. I'm just like... Okay. That's happening. Let's go into the darkness and, f you know, face our fears, find our friend. Oh. Well. Apparently the Eye of Sauron is here. Okay. I'm guessing this is the first boss fight. Slightly concerning. <laughs> oh no, it's a shmup now. Well, it's probably a good thing I turned off the flashing lights. Whoops, that's damage. I got too caught up in the moment. I didn't think to dodge. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I like this. Oh, no. Those ones can't be defeated. All right, cool. Oh. I didn't even notice you would take damage by walking into them. All right, never mind. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. Everything's going A-OK. -okay. Just gonna casually dodge everything, no big deal. I've done worse, I fought Sans before. Let's be real. This is nothing. Get out of here, eye guy. No one's gotta deal with this. Oh, this soundtrack though. This is kicking. Wow. Thanks, I love it. Oh no. That was a close call. Oh dear! That's intense! Let's go! <laughs> wow! That was freaking sweet! <laughs> Whoa! Okay! Chapter 2. A wielder's duty. Wow, okay, um... That was a boss fight. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I like that a lot. Wow, 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 wow. My goodness, I think I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to take a quick break, since it has been, you know, like an hour and a half. I'm having so much fun with this, but... I gotta take a break. I, I gotta jowls myself. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Well, um, my goodness, we are really trucking along here. Let's continue with chapter two. What was that? Oh, we're, uh, <laughs> we were inside. Th that's their house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I will be, probably. Notice how the brush isn't colored. The corruption. Out of nowhere, it started growing here. But even I didn't expect it to attack. I only got out thanks to you. Chikri could learn a thing or two from you. Oh, that's very nice. Everyone's been dunking on Cheeseburg the whole time. You will be. My old apprentice. This is all her responsibility. She should never have sent you. Wow. How rude. <laughs> Look at the very concerned, like, face that Cheeseburg is making right now, just like, hmm? Hmm? What are you saying? Huh? What? She's a coward! How can I- Stop! Stop insulting Chicory! Chicory is awesome, she's doing her best. She's gone now, but... Stop saying bad things about Chicory! She didn't give me the brush, I took it. Just a janitor. Now see, this is where the honesty comes out. If we had told earlier the tale of the fact that we had stolen it, or took it rather, we didn't really steal it, right? It was on the ground, finders keepers. <laughs> we told the truth earlier, I'm sure we could have saved a few seconds of uh, uncertainty in discussion. 
Whatever it is, Chikri can handle it. You don't know her at all. Says, uh... <laughs> says the person who... Who is her master, apparently. <laughs> that is true, Jen. We did technically try to see Chikori, but the door was locked and there was no answer. So, ergo, it's like... I found it on the ground. The person's not here. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. I mean, it's urgent. The color drained everywhere. It's pretty serious. You messed up, kiddo. You have no idea how precious that brush is. You risked us all by taking it, but the color was already gone, and Chicory's nowhere to be found. I didn't think about that. No, Cheeseburg, you are not to blame. You were just literally doing janitorial duties, and suddenly the world's colors were tossed asunder. Drained. Brush is on the ground, no one else is around. Also, I don't see you doing anything, Blackberry. <laughs> You're in your hut in the forest. Your hut was not colored in. Where's your powers, huh? <laughs> I'm getting snarky here. <laughs> You're lucky to be alive. Look, you should be lucky to be alive right now. <laughs> Did you not visualize the eye guy fight we just had? <laughs> I'm getting very passionate about this. I'm not upset, but it's just funny. <laughs> You don't know what's going on? Well, that makes sense. Okay, let me round it up for you real quick. You're playing as a dog who is a janitor whose name is Cheeseburg. The colors in the world vanished. You got the paintbrush. The main person, Chicory, is nowhere to be seen. And we went through like a big coloring book area and we fought a bunch of giant floating eyes and it's pretty crazy. And we're talking to Black Bay right now, who is the master of Chicory, who is the person that vanished. <laughs> of course! Yeah! <laughs> I understand everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know some of these words. <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you'll take that brush right back to Chicory and Luncheon. Go! This is one... Rude person. <laughs> Go! <laughs> I just pressed space to sit again. <laughs> oh, I see we're having a stare down. Okay. All right. Your bond of the bush grew stronger, but don't let it get to your head. <laughs> take that brush and return it, but no one is there to take you back. Okay. Powered up. Your bond with the brush. We can probably go on those vines now. Your paint will now glow in dark places. Now. That's what we've been waiting for! <laughs> is this Epic Mickey? Uh, heck yeah. This is literally just Epic Mickey. Why is Mickey a dog? Well, you see... A lot of stuff had to happen for Sora to get in Kingdom Hearts, so... You know, the timeline got a bit messed up. Don't worry about it. Your paint will now glow in the dark in places. You should probably still give it back to Chiggery. Well, since you're being so rude, Blackberry, I'm gonna turn your entire house into... A, uh, a dismal display. That's not really dismal, it's just... Oh no, you've made the house better. <laughs> Hope you've learned your lesson. Oh, is Cheeseburg not gonna call out the fact that Blackberry was literally taken by the darkness and we went in and we bonked some eyeballs? Wow! My apprentice was bad and you messed up. Get out of here. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna uncolor your house. <laughs> Let's see how you feel now. Oh, oh no. Where are your colors? Suddenly Digga becomes super vain. <laughs> well, if we didn't do such a good job, maybe you could do a better job then. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, since our brush wasn't good enough for you, have fun in your monochrome wasteland. Like Mad World. <laughs> yeah, she's being pretty rude. You know, normally I'm not one to repay rudeness with unkindness, but... I mean, you, we pretty much just defeated a giant eyeball behemoth creature to save her, so... I feel like... Be the bigger person, you're right, Jen. <laughs> you're right. 
Who am I to be rude? I, I, you gotta be, you gotta stay kind. You gotta be true to yourself. I was only doing it for a joke, but you're kind of right, though. <laughs> be the bigger person. Also, this is kind of blinding my eyes now. <laughs> Enjoy your Halloween paradise. <laughs> I needed Jen to bring me back down to Earth. <laughs> I was starting to waver on the path of kindness. I was about to become one of the, um... I was gonna join Organization 13. <laughs> anyway, now that we have that glowy, glowy paint, look at this! We can color all of the uh, mushrooms now. That's the down arrow. We can create pathways and lights in the dark to take us to all sorts of secret goodies and grottos. You gotta stick with the, um, the teal for this one, though. It's pretty classic. The quintessential sort of, like, gems that you see hidden within the depths of the caverns. Oh, yeah, these are very, very tiny walkways, and you needed to color over the... Why am I blanking on the thing that I'm coloring over? <laughs> the vines! Streamer brain. Forgetting basic vegetation. I wouldn't have it any other way. There's probably a secret down here. Yeah. You got a cord coat. Oh. Now that's a nice combination right there. Oh, we got a hot pink. Yeah, that's a totally new color. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Oh, the bandana's pretty cool, though. It's just quintessential. I think by the time we get back to the uh, the town, we should have the required clothing to show to uh, our goat sheep friend. Um, I'm guessing we can't go left. Those are blocking the way, so right is the only option. Let's use some pink. Let's add a little splash here. A lovely bit of color. Ooh! Now, if I can get a dark blue coloring, I'm gonna switch to that immediately. If I can just get that permanently. Yeah. Please and thank you. Don't submit to the darkness. Kingdom Hearts is light. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh yeah, this way. I need to go up to this uh, little alcove here to take me over to the treasure, which is Round glasses. Getting big Ralse vibes here. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's all that's in this area? Yeah. I think we're gonna have to go back. And figure out a way around those mushrooms. I think if I just uncolor- yeah, 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 yeah. Basic things that I just did. Let me uncolor everything. Nice. Let's get some yellow in here. Let's get fancy with it. So here's the place where we came from. I'm gonna uncolor these gemstones so we can get to the secret chest up above. That one too, okay. A gift! We got a moon tea, Oh, Very crescent. I'm loving these outfits. They're fantastic. Okay, so next I'm gonna go... Um, I, the only options left, I guess. For some reason I thought this was the way we came in the other place, like it's interconnected. Is that really reaching that far? Huh, okay. <laughs> yeah, here we go, this is where we were. I take us all the way to this upper area. Actually, wasn't there something else? No, there's the other cave up there, I guess, but I feel like I'm missing something back there. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. Let's go back to that big cave in the top. Back in luncheon. I hope I don't accidentally make progress. That would be quite disastrous. That cave better not lead to like, oh, this is where Chicory was going to go. 
Also, my favorite part is I'm just, I've been carrying like four cats in my pocket this whole time. As we were fighting the big shadow creatures, the little kids are like, ew. <laughs> Don't worry, little guys. I'll protect you from the eyeballs of doom. Yeah. Oh, turnip. I'm here looking for the wielder. Ho ho! <laughs> Gee, fellas, did someone mention the door to darkness? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I kind of want to do that voice up. I'm here looking for the wielder, but it was really tough getting through this cave, so I'm just having a rest here. Wow. I went to do the thing I wanted to do earlier, but I've been blocked by a mouse. Oh, am I in your way? <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I guess. I'm always getting in people's way. I wish I was helpful. That's why I came all this way to say something important to the wielder. I'll be on my way soon, I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are supposed to go see here somewhere. Honestly, you shouldn't go this way. It's dark and creepy and full of bugs. Well, you sold me. I'm leaving then. The only thing that made it worth it for me was that I'd get to speak to the wielder at the end. I really can't wait. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'll move soon. <laughs> There's so much dialogue. I love this. Please come back in a little bit. Okay, well, Nibble Tunnel is once again off limits. I guess we'll go down to that new area then. Yeah, we'll go down to the other area that had uh, some different people in it. That might be where the Academy is too. I feel really bad about this area. <laughs> it's just swirls of green. Oh, the friends have moved down here. However, I got some stuff to look at first. We gotta go this way. Because there is a grumpy cat named Beans. Oh, are these your kids? I've been carrying these children around for a while. How's it going, Beans? Oh, you're the one who found my kids. Much appreciated. Well, if you see more, send them here. I'll be keeping an eye on them. Come in and say hi sometime. Okay. Gulp swamp this way. Can I like get rid of the trees here or no? Have you lost a kid? They may be here. Inquire with him. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best strategy for daycares. Hey, did you lose a child? Come on in. Pick one of these big kids. This is going to be fine. Just grab a kid that looks roughly like your child. <laughs> uh, okay, that's another power up. Cool. Yeah. I figure if I can't get to it, it's it's probably a Welcome to the next hour of stream. <laughs> you can indeed pet the cat in Chicory. A colorful tale. Cheeseburg goes west. <laughs> hey, hey, Lord. <laughs> Metroid, what's that? I'm petting a cat in Chicory right now. <laughs> How's it going? What a good time to join in. <laughs> you don't understand. These children were lost in trees. I had to save them. It's pivotal. I guess I could switch over to, um, what was the outfit that guy wanted? The beanie and the pocket jacket? Yeah. Hey, so I was doing a head count and uh, there's an extra kid here. <laughs> Don't know where from, huh? but I thought about it a bunch and uh, would you like to adopt? Only $7.99.99. Also, children are very expensive. You're gonna need to have to get on some healthcare plans. You're gonna have to get like a house. You're gonna need room. Uh, you're gonna have to feed them and uh, their medical bills and uh, sports. And uh, you know, it's a very expensive endeavor. Samus pet sings a missile, same thing. You're right. You're very right. I'm sold. <laughs> I can't throw it out. Poor thing ain't got nowhere to go. I'll take care of him myself. At least till the folks turn up. It's the right thing to do, I reckon. <laughs> That's absolutely not the same. 
<laughs> yeah, but I had to humor him, boy. <laughs> I had to humor my boy. <laughs> it will happen, don't worry. I just, uh, I promised I would finally stream Chicory. It was a very, uh, very solid deal I was given. Stream it now. <laughs> Buy it and stream it this week. Because it's been out since June, and I promised to do it. We'll see. You got a headband. Just a small way to say thanks. That ain't much, but I hope it's handy. We got a lot of kitty cats here. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's one of those like egg chairs. Yeah. I'm a little concerned about this pile of trash here, but I'm assuming that's just like what accumulates basically when you're taking care of kids, you know, like you end up with like Cheerios and stuff all over the floor. Buys an $80 C for a game, never plays it. Yeah, I didn't finish Fire Emblem Fates. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I played through Conquest. I know what you're talking about. I will be playing Dread soon. Don't worry. What is this game? This is Chicory, A Colorful Tale. You are playing as a dog and the world has lost its color. You can zoom in, you can color different things, you can switch around, you have different outfits, you have an entire open world of exploring. Also, it gets pretty dark. There's a setting for um, all the way down here. There is a content warning because there are some pretty dark parts in this game. And I have that enabled just to give people the, uh, you know, as, as streaming, give that option so people don't have to like run into any problems. It's Epic Mickey with a dog. Yes. MS Paint, basically, yes. But it's full of heart, charm, lovely characters, and also uh, giant eyeball demons. AMA. Where was I going? Oh yeah. Oh no, I, I need to finish talking. I got sidetracked. <laughs> We're not done talking to beans yet. All these rascals running about. It's a lot for one person, but I can handle it. They're just so darn sweet. I'm a proud mama. Jeez, the kids just keep coming. I'm actually losing all these kids. <laughs> if I had three more, I have to clean the place up. <laughs> you just came in to dunk on me for not playing Dread yet? <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way, bud. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Classic dig a stream. <laughs> oh no. I smudged my glasses. <laughs> the thing <things> Sam. <laughs> Woo! Give me a second here. I can't be playing a game with smudged glasses. Are you kidding me? That's like uh that's like when you're using your phone and it has like a... Like you got like a droplet of cheese on... Ugh. I never understand that. There's the people There's people I know that use their devices with like pizza fingers. You know, ugh. You touched a bunch of greasy stuff. Sure, let me pick up my expensive phone. We're done talking to beans, by the way. Imagine coming into someone's stream just to dunk on them for not playing a game that's out already. <laughs> it's all in good fun. P and Pickle really want to talk, but I need to go talk to Oats. Yeah. Whoa! I love that look. It's exactly what I've been looking for. For that, here's something cool. Oh, we got some shades. Heck yeah. A fashion master knows the right time to wear something. I know you'll wield that with mastery too, but I think I'm looking for a new outfit now. What's next? I love the shades. The sun over the flowers. That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. The sun over the flowers. Okay, well I have a flower like, I have a flower dress. What's like sun? I don't think I have sun yet. I'll keep those cool shades on and I'll switch to the hoodie. Nice. I'll have to keep that in mind for later, but let's go ahead and talk to, um, actually, there might be some new stuff to talk about. Sun over the flowers. Hmm. Do you want me to tell you what the sun is or give you a hint? Well, 
Hmm, do I? I mean... Sun... I don't think I have anything sun-related besides, like, just the glasses. The sunglasses. That's probably not gonna work. <laughs> I don't have it yet. Okay, yeah, I expected that, but <laughs> it's worth a try. Let's get that cool look on. How's Cola doing? Hey, mate, loving the new shirt. It really captures your personality. Make sure you wear it everywhere so everyone knows to come to our cafe. Oh, yeah. I should probably wear the shirt I designed. Folks come from all over to visit the Wielder's Tower, so it's always great to have a Wielder merch here. Chicory's just so popular, and rightfully so. So what happens to the old merch? Is it like, like every time there's a new one, they clearance out the old stuff? Like, oh, um, Slugworth wasn't quite as good. <laughs> this whole game, I've just been dunking on the Slugmaster. <laughs> Maybe they're actually pretty cool. Just an easy target. Here's a slug. <laughs> Funny. Slow. You can tell she cares a lot about her work. Another person who's surprised that we got the brush somehow. I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, uh oh, another lie. <laughs> Cheeseburg! You're not supposed to lie to people, even if they don't like what you're saying. <laughs> Anyway, let's, uh, let's talk to Pickle. Oh yeah, he <laughs> he. I love Pickle. Pickle's my favorite. I love this new shirt. Oh, they're wearing it! <laughs> oh, that's so cute! It kind of, uh, it, le it looks less like a shovel with a- a shovel in a burger. It kind of more like a metal poster. Or maybe it's just like, um, like a big stack of pancakes. Probably the best shirt design they've had here. At least for me. Feels like it's totally my style. <laughs> Thank you for making it. <laughs> Notice my cool new shirt? Pretty slick design, right? T-shirts by the wielder are a snazzy collector's item. You're worth the fortune a few years, I bet. Ooh, one of those people. Once they're posthumous, they won't need, like, uh, they don't need the royalties, so... As soon as that person has vanished, I will sell their artwork for ten million dollars. It's rude. Also, when did I turn Cheeseburg purple? Probably during one of my color changes. <laughs> Whatever. It's like JoJo, where every color is canon. Alright, I guess we gotta take this brush back. Wait. I think I could- I could still- blip, 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 blip. Trying to talk on stream. Crazy. I think I can still go down that direction, right? I think. Yeah. What's over here? Pray tell. Another lost kitten? So we only need two more then. Alrighty. There's something very chill about just, uh, like, you, you could literally go through every room in this game and just casually paint them super nicely. I love that. There's probably something to the right. There's nothing to the right. This is just a children's room. Alrighty, I guess, uh, Gulp Swamp will be next as soon as we go back to, to give the paintbrush. And I'll be like, well, we can't give it back, per se. You know how it is. I should color in these signs as well, so people can see them. Oh, did they leave? <laughs> they just showed up to wear their shirt and just left! How's it going, Lemon? Are you still kind of uh, freaked out? Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, it's not cool, but... You know, it, as long as you're alive, things are pretty sweet. Separate woods, nibble tunnel... I guess I can try to go see if Chicory is here. Maybe I should put on something a little more, like, um... I don't know, formal? Something less like, I'm going in with my Horatio look. The overalls. The Star AT. Alright. Let's go check on Slugworth first. 
There we go. Good seeing you, bud. Yo, Chicory, you home? Chicory! Are you there? I have your brush. I took it. <laughs> you may not know this, but I've stolen it from you. I took it, but I shouldn't have. I don't know. You did a pretty good job in that eyeball fight, Cheeseburg. Uh, can I come in? Is this gonna open like a dark world portal? <laughs> Let's get uh, Lancer in here. I just want to give your brush back. Fine. Oh, wait a minute. Is Chicory actually here? Come in. I feel very unprepared for this. Something's gonna happen. I gotta put on my cool look. Not the shades, but I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta advertise. <laughs> With the beanie. Dunk. Oh, well. Seems like we've had our uh, first content warning hit here. Oh, boy. So this is the pop-up you get, which is, uh, it's really nice that they have this option in here. So, in case you have any problems with any of the content stuff, I will wait a tiny bit to give you some time to head out. I don't know when you're supposed to come back, and if you don't come back, I still appreciate that you came here anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. This is gonna get pretty heavy, isn't it? I gotta brace myself. I'm gonna take a sip of water here. All right, let's do this. Oh boy. You okay there, Chicory? You're that janitor. Cheeseburg, right? The name doesn't really help with the situation. I now realize that. <laughs> Sorry for taking your brush. I was confused if all the color gone. You, you don't know why that happened, do you? Can we help, like, uh, spruce up this place? Looks like there is no coloring right now. Okay. Anyway, please take it back. Oh. Chicory's a little down in the dumps right now, but it's gonna be fine. We're gonna... We're gonna try to help out here. I can't take this from you, you're the wielder. The best one ever. Not anymore. Oh man. Chin up, Chicory. Everything's gonna be fine. Take things one step at a time. I don't understand, I really look up to you. Also, the, um, the Shovel Burger shirt was not the appropriate choice for this either. <laughs> I'm really striking out on all fronts here. I'm just trying to be a good friend. Taking this means everything to me. Just take it. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Notice, like, the, uh, the, um... Tablet on the floor with the headphones and like the the cup of ramen and the there's jam on the ground for some reason Okay, I'll do it. I'll color everything back in and make you proud chicory sure Now leave me alone Um, That wasn't too bad. I don't want to sound reductive, but um We're gonna try to turn the situation around Hey Stop that. Hey! Ooh, I really shouldn't do this. When someone needs to be left alone, you gotta give them the time to themselves. But... I wanna see- I, I shouldn't see what happens. I shouldn't do this. I don't wanna color this in. But I feel like... I feel like I'll be missing... Mm. Am I a bad person for doing this? Okay, well... Um... 
Your need to try to color everything made you try. Uh, does it get worse than that? I feel really bad for this uh, this poor character who's feeling down in the dumps. And I'm like barging into their room and shouting like, yay, I'm going to be the next coloring master. Yay. It's like the Kermit gif. Woo. Uh. One more try makes it stop and then you can only color in white. Uh, okay. Well, for the sake of completion. Oh. Okay. I already hit it. You okay there, Chicory? I'm gonna do my best. If you wanna make anything you're wearing white, it could be useful. That is true, yeah. Though I guess you could technically just erase, right? Any tips on using the brush? No. You okay? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh... Well, if you need to talk, I'll be busy helping people with the coloring in. Yeah, you can color everything else, just not her room. Okay. Do you want to talk about it? Oh, man. Whew. That is pretty heavy. Ooh. Okay, well. If you need to talk... I'm here for you. I hope you're okay. I'm gonna go have colorful fun adventures across the land. When you come outside, everything's gonna be green. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so yeah, that um, that's a totally valid content warning thing right there. The stop music doesn't really help either. I think what I'll do is I'll make it look as nice as possible for when Chicory comes out of being stuck in there. Actually, does the bigger brush make it splush faster? It kind of stops sometimes if I hold it down, though. Maybe I should just be more patient. Okay, so the outside will be blue, the walls will be green. Just like Slugworth. Yeah. I may not be able to help right now, but this is the best I can do for my friend who is currently going through some hard times. Alrighty. Still kind of not filling in the hallway. Kind of awkward. I'm gonna let the uh, the gunky paint wave continue forward. Okay. Looking good. Maybe I'll alternate colors here too. Yeah, that looks pretty lovely. Nice. I really am just going to be painting everything for hours, aren't I? <laughs> Must fill in everything or not complete. I think that should be good enough, right? I mean, maybe I should, you know, like color the janitor room. Yeah, let's do that too. I'm wondering now if there's like an achievement for coloring a lot of stuff, like a certain, a certain amount of stuff. I think I saw there were like 33 steam achievements. That's the wrong one. There we go. Let's make this place sparkle. Also, I wonder where the trash goes. Let's just color in some random stuff here. There you go. So now when Chicory comes out of the room, everything's gonna be nice and bright and vibrant. Just don't leave the tower. As soon as you leave the tower, it's it's pretty grayscale. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh! Uh, excuse me. I was looking for the wielder. But uh, I thought it was Chicory. I am the new wielder! 
What seems to be the problem? The trash can can be used three places as a note, but you will be able to find enough to get everything. Okay. My mind read that as trash can, not trash can. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the trash can and walk around. It's water temple. Understandable, thank you. <laughs> Some creepy trees grew all over it. Oh, the colors vanished. It's a total mess. I'm sorry, I gotta give you these little uh, green shorts. Noise. But especially because it's the wielder temple. That's a chicory, I know what to do. I can handle it! Okay. I have to take the nibble tunnel to potluck. Uh, but the whole tunnel went pitch black. It was so scary getting here. Okay, bye. <laughs> it just took off like Sonic. With the spinny shoe run. Where'd she go, though? I'm wondering if there's new dialogue for each chapter. I'm very curious. Well, uh, she did go to Brecky. I just didn't realize she was like... She already left left, though. Maybe I took too long. Oh, what a mess this area is. Gah. What a blue this area is. What a house this area is. Just gotta stop and think for a second there. Okay. Oh, nice! I love how you painted the house. It's real simple and striking. It's also very blue. You're a great wielder for sure. Oh? I don't think... They agree on the house color. Let's compromise here. Yeah, he likes things more colorful and complicated. So let's do like uh, let's do like a fancy display. So simple on the bottom, and then on the top these little uh, bric-a-bracs here it can kind of be like smudgerinos, alternating patterns. They kind of look like frowny faces, just a little bit. So I might not get like the feedback I'm I'm looking for, but ooh, hmm. <laughs> What a nicely balanced style for our home! Hey, I did get the feedback! A mix of detail and simplicity, very pleasing. I guess it's fine. I, I, I made him happy, I think? Oh! Look, there's a little kiwi here! Look at him! He's got a baseball hat! How's it going, bud? Part of the gang? Yeah, what's up? Brussels sprout! It's a good thing I colored him green subconsciously. Oh, wow, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, you're the wielder, right? I, I'm not gonna do this voice. I can't. I can't do this voice for like 20 lines of dialogue. Random characters will come visit to comment on your coloring if you've colored places. Ooh. Now that's a nice incentive. I'm an art student. I came here to study your work. I didn't think I'd run into you here. Uh, um, uh, I'm not sure what to say. It's really nice. Uh, thanks for uh, coloring everything. Okay, well, now I have an incentive to want to color stuff. I don't know what percentage of color you need. Like, if you just color things haphazardly, does that still count? It also makes it easier to diverse with certain power-ups, but you can just color as you need to. I will keep that in mind. Also, this will be blue now. Swiggles of blue. Nice. Alrighty, let's get a move on. Goodbye, Mr. Kiwi person. Basil, something new to say? Wielding the brush must be overwhelming. If you're not sure what to do, don't be afraid to ask for help. Oh, folks like us are always full of advice. <laughs> huh. The way to the Nibble Tunnel is through my little garden. Connects us to potluck and dinners. This is a very, uh, very delectable world. So folks are often coming and going through here. I hope my flowers make their trip a little nicer. 
So much dialogue. Like a ridiculous- Oh! There was trash here the whole time! Good thing I checked. Also, I just randomly colored that bugaboo. Nice. Let's go ahead and make this ground also a uh, sort of nice... Oh gosh. I've overextended myself. A nice sort of salmon pink. Man, it's such a bummer that, like, nobody's playing this. I, I know it's a hypocritical of me to say, having not played it since it came out, but... It's just, I knew I'm gonna... I don't have a... I have no excuse. I plead the fifth. Let's go ahead and get this nice and shiny first. Dinner's this way. Potluck this way. Hmm. I mean, I know where I'm supposed to go. You can't go to dinners yet? Okay. Well, since you said that, I'm gonna try. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Got him. I can at least color it blue to remind me of what I need to do. And get some nice purple trees here. There we go. Okay. It's a potluck. Post haste. Let's get the- oh, wait a minute. Why did I think that was blue? That's purple. It's still purple. It hasn't changed. As soon as I find that dark blue, that is going to be my main cheeseburg color. Don't know why I just did that. I need to shrink these first. E. Solving basic puzzles. Yeah, there we go. Dunk. Alrighty. Next up we- oh! Oh! Oh, creepy crawly bugaboos! Oh, I don't want to touch those things, but I will, though. Mmm. Ugh. Yeah, the, the, the dress-up menu is a good option to check all the different colors, but I'm going to be waiting for that big old bright blue color. What am I doing? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now, too. Just holding down color to see exactly where I need to go in this place. Which is good, because we just found something new. A black dress. Very fancy. Probably gonna have to show that off at some point. To get some sort of bonus goodie. Yeah, those bugaboos are really, uh, really sucking up the light, aren't they? I'm gonna bounce this way. Yeah. I get that you can color around them. I, I feel like I'm just going like gung ho with it. Uh, I wanted to go the other direction. Yes. This way. That's the one. Ugh, creepy crawlies. What's this gift? A big star. Nice. I'm gonna probably purple that. Very fancy. Maybe I should change the uh, cap too. We haven't done the headband. Oh, this is a cool look. I like this look. There's a special thing you can get later that will pick up, that will let you pick any four colors from a color wheel to carry around. Oh, that's. I can't wait for that. It sounds exciting. Let's get a move on. Watch out for the bouncy bugaboos. Nice. We're going to potluck. This looks like it'll be a nice pink room. Okay. Something to the left. Probably another secret present. Or 
or maybe hmm I kind of feel like that I hmm the other way is probably the proper way I'm, I'm gonna stick with my gut this is gonna be where the bonus is the path is a main direction oh well hello our little friend how did you get lost in here again little turnip oh boy am I glad to see you I literally just left and now I'm lost I completely lost coming back. Getting through the dark is so hard. The cave is full of creepy bugs. Turnip sense of direction is as bad as yours. Yeah, I mean, I have bad sense of direction too. So we're we're in the same pack, the same group, the same... I don't know what this description is. Both going to get lost. Could you paint a line for me to the exit? That would help a lot. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I like it nice and vibrant. Okay, I guess the floor was the line. <laughs> it just, just pieced out of there. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did already have it colored in. Now we have to do the whole, like, proper line here. You can make the line as thin as you need to, as long as I can follow it to the exit. And not step on the weird bugs. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it's going to play out a little differently here. Actually, do need to do some uh, puzzle solving with the bugaboos. I did see that they ate my front path. That's a little rude. But I guess it's fine. I'll go around. Uh... Yeah, there we go. You gotta be very precise. Oh. Oh, I thought I had that one. Okay, that was rude. I'm going to loop around. Oh, too close. I'm going to loop around here. There we go. Are you good, Turnip? Are you are you good to go? We we got a path here for you. It's literally like it goes right to the end. Like right here. There. Okay, let's make it bigger. It's fine. You really struggled with this part. Um, I didn't mean to get it first try, though. <laughs> like, fourth try, I guess. I can- yeah, it's very precise. You really gotta, like... Pinpoint it to the crystal, but not too far, or else you get stuck. But it's okay, because we're gonna help turn up out of here. It did take me a few tries, yes, but I can pretend it took one try. <laughs> A nice clean line from me to the exit would be nice. Oh, you're right, yeah. It did kind of seem like anywhere, coloring anywhere would get them to activate, but it's like right when you mouse over it. But that's a weird, like, it was strange because I got around it, but I think maybe it just barely touched one of their legs or something, and then that takes the whole path anyway. It's fine. Everything's fine now. A nice clean line for me, the exit would be nice. But if the bugs eat it, I won't go. They creep me out way too much. Ugh. This won't be too bad. It's just a straight shot right here. Didn't realize how far off the path I was. You were. How do you see anything in there, little buddy? That's embarrassing. There you go. <laughs> I love the little squeak. Oh, you didn't see when Turnip said as thin as you want and you thought it had to be fully colored? Oh, that sounds... Oh, that sounds really rough. Yeah. I might have made the same mistake, too. If I wasn't paying attention. What are these little birds? Yeah, doing a maze except, like, instead of the line, you color the whole thing to get to the proper path. Ah, thank you! Thought I might never get out of there. You've earned your red pants. Please take this. You got a kerchief. Oh, that's so cool! Well, I'm going back home to Potluck. Come and visit sometime. And uh, don't forget, the Wielder Temple. You gotta fix it. 
He left behind a little splotch or something. We're gonna ignore that. Oh! We've got a nice, like, creamy yellow now. Very bright red, yellow, lovely orange, and a sort of like, um, like an avocado green? Mmm, I love the new area to color stuff. It's so good. <laughs> Just rocking back and forth there. We'll keep the kerchief. We'll switch over to the, um... Their dress looks pretty cool. I think the kerchief goes really nicely with the, um... The kerchief goes well with the kerchief. <laughs> A perfect ensemble. Let's go for a new color here. The pants will be the light orange and the kerchief will be red. Yeah, that's looking good. Very fancy. I want to color those birds though. Oh. That's a massive present! Yeah, can I get that, please? It's also like a- oh! It's like a splatty paint bubble here! The old rock. Wait a minute. New area, darker colors already. Oh, I think that's kind of a good compromise for the blue I want. Yeah! It's a little darker, but... Oh, this looks so good! It's perfect! A little too dark, actually, but... Maybe we can hit it multiple times, actually. No. Oh, I can actually color the, the trees, like, properly. Oh, this is really good. It's been bugging me this whole time that I couldn't do this. Big presents contain different things than little presents. Oh, that sounds interesting. I await... The big goodies. Exactly, yeah. Like, I want to color these trees, but all I have is blue. You give me an area with green, and yeah, I'm gonna put a little more effort into it. I don't know why I'm having chicory run- or sorry. I made the mistake! I wasn't gonna make the mistake, but I said chicory. It's not chicory, that's cheeseburg. I made cheeseburg run up for no reason. I should probably zoom in so I can be more precise, as the game has taught me how to do! I still can't reach it though. It's like right, right behind, it's like right, it's right, right here, I can't, can't get there! Can't get to the back! I can't! These break the rocks, but you can't get to them right now? Alrighty. Well, I'm noticing that what I can't get into is this one part right here that I'm trying to paint that's the base of the tree, and I can't, like, I can't get it. I can't, even if I explode it, no! No! <laughs> so close to perfection. Yeah, I'm already forgetting to zoom, but I feel like you don't really need to zoom too much. I feel like everything's pretty accessible otherwise. Well... I guess we're not gonna be coloring that, are we? <laughs> gonna drive me insane. It's fine. I'll make this look like a, a nice red cliff. I don't know why I sometimes, like, super focus on random specific areas. Maybe because they're visually interesting. Maybe because I just love coloring stuff. And then we'll make this the uh, the lighter wall. Yeah! Now that's lovely. I can't... Okay, I was gonna say, I couldn't reach that one though. Okay, so I'll be able to eventually get through those rocks at some point. And I'll have to come back here from the side, I guess. I was trying to draw an arrow, but that flower got in the way. Okay. Cool. We probably come from this direction, actually. Have some red trees. That's fun. 
I love this freedom. It's so good. Welcome to Potluck. We got all sorts of lovely friends here. Let's color in some trees. Let's get some stuff happening here. A walkway. Color in the ground a bit. Is that a capybara friend I see? That's a capybara friend I see. Nice. Oi, kiddo! Hey, Dad! <laughs> we made it to the pop shop! Finally got away from your girlfriend to visit? <laughs> I'm kidding, isn't that a knee slapper? Uh, good to see you, though. Uh, Ma says you're the wielder now. Boy, news travels pretty fast around here, doesn't it? I don't think that um, Cheeseburg has told a single soul yet. Well, I mean, besides like a, five people, whatever. Pratty, a kiddo, want to give me a hand with something? I want the holy shop to get colored again. Something flashy. All right, Pop. So, uh, how's the wielding going? You winning? <laughs> Are you winning, kid? Your mom and I worry about you, you know, but maybe we worry too much. Sure you know what you're doing. You should color the holy shop, though. When you get a chance. Shop's going all right. Folks will always love holies. I think I can ever look at one again. Too many donuts as a kid. Used to bring home so many. No, oh, I made you sick of holies. I still like them. You know, well, I always figured since your sister was the artist, that maybe you'd run the holy shop someday. Dad, I don't even like holies. Oh no. Oh, we're in a, an awkward situation where the parents are trying to push the family business on a young uh, person who wants to get out into the world and do stuff. Sounds like you just need more of them. Also, how can a raccoon be the parent of a dog? <laughs> I'm kidding. But really, kiddo. Sometimes work ain't all about what you love. Sometimes it's just a thing you do. But I like what I'm doing. I'm not to sound like a broken record, but you should really go to the holy shop. There's a lot of dialogue with the fam. You're a good one, kiddo. Whatever you do, I know you'll be fine. Alrighty, we need to make this flashy. Let's get the bright lights. Let's get the donut. We're gonna have the roof be green. And that's also gonna have the individual donuts be colored. Get it nice and flashy. I can't click these one by one, so I'm gonna have to just kind of uh, rub it through here. And then the outside could be red. Oh yeah! Uh, I wasn't done yet though, Dad. Let me- I'm sorry, I know we're in the middle of a conversation, but I gotta finish this paint job or else it's gonna bug me. Cheeseburg, that looks great! Also, you colored a bird up there. I don't know how you're going to pay a, uh, pay your dues to nature after what you've done. Thanks so much! Oh yeah, I have something for you. Now that you're traveling around so much, I don't want you getting lost. You got a television! A camera map! You got the Arceus phone. It's one of those fancy new camera maps! I was actually just wondering where the map was, so pretty cool. So you can take photos with it and stuff too. Just press M to open it. I'll head back home now. Call us if you ever need anything. And off he went. Okay. So it looks like we can take pics whenever. We do have a zoomed in camera and it shows you. Oh, okay. I see what you were saying earlier. It shows you all the exact colorings of different locations you've been to. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And you can mark whatever, whenever, that's so cool. I guess it would have been too much to ask to like, literally erase stuff from up here too. That's too much. Ooh. We got like a little dingly dangly keychain here. Well, this is the next part of the stream. I hope you enjoy 12 hours of this. The interactivity is palpable. I gotta say, I wasn't really one to put like charms on my stuff, but I did always buy like really cool import charms of like a bunch of Nintendo things, some Zatch Bell stuff, a lot of really obscure things. I, I always like the- I like the chains themselves, I just don't put them on stuff. So this is part of the 
the dress up map too, or the dress up screen, you can switch over to your collection. It's almost been two and a half hours. My goodness. 13% done. Six lost kids. Tap repeatedly on rustling things to loose hiding kids. Beans will take care of them and lunch until they find a good home. Clothes you've collected in the picnic province. People hide their old clothes and gifts for elders. Some people will give clothes away when you help them too. And litter. What a bunch of litter bugs. Pieces of litter you've picked up. You've heard there's a collection program for these somewhere. Don't know where. And these are the different powers for the brush. Right now we have the glow, which lets your paint glow in the dark. And you can take a picture whenever you want. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, who is this? I don't know who they are, but your entire house is now yellow. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe the back counter can be a little red. Just a splotch. Tapioca! We should also have the branding match. There we go. Hi, welcome to the holy shop. Before you ask, no, we don't have any of the color specials. Sorry, our holies got wiped and everything else. Oh, wait a second. You're the wielder. Again, news travels very fast around here. Listen, we need your help. We need you to design a new special holy. Okay. Sweet. The color special is basically the only reason people come. Uh, decorate away. Design a holy. Oh, no. That's a lot of pressure. I call this one disease. It's the zombie donut. The. I kind of like that idea. Coloring outside the line a bit, but I think it doesn't matter. You know, it's transparent and all. Ooh. I'm liking the color wheels here. I guess it's kind of foreshadowing to later on when we maybe get the ability to switch between stuff, as I mentioned earlier. Hmm. There's 120 pieces of clothing, including accessories and 40 kids. That's more than the eight I thought there were. Okay. Well, that's going to be very interesting. This game, I, I, I apparently this is going to be like my next major game that I'm going to spend like 30 hours on. Which I should have done in January. January, June. That's the J I need. There's a certain amount of the type of things you can trade in for the shovels. You're surprised I'm not adding a shovel. Oh, that is true. It is my brand. I feel like it's a little too heavy handed to just keep using shovels over and over, but it's my thing. How do I make this like a shovel donut? Why don't I go straight for like petrified zombie? I don't know. Maybe I wanted to try something new. I'll make this the the dirt donut. How about that? Ugh. 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 How far back can I go? I can just spam this. Ba I'm, I'm surprised that I didn't like activate shift keys, even though I've turned those off. Every time I turn them off, they always come back. I don't know how. Curse you, shift keys. Uh, it's not really dirt, but I guess it'll be close enough. Uh. Uh. Oh, if it's transparent, it shouldn't really matter too much. Okay, how do I make this into, like, a donut? Do I have, like, shovel patterns? Like, a bunch of little shovels everywhere? I guess I should have decided that before coloring the whole thing. Hmm. I could have, like, um, alternating shovels? Yeah, I really should have mapped this out first. I'd be like, um, like, almost like the hands on a clock. This isn't working, is it? <laughs> hmm. Shovel, shovel, shovels. Maybe diagonal. Maybe like, uh, that's not working. Maybe I'll have it be like. That's just like an, it's an arrow though. <laughs> just pointing at the center of the donut. Maybe I should just draw like a bunch of little shovels. Uh, now if I could fill this in. 
That's what I should have done to begin with. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to draw four shovels. God, this, this it really doesn't look like shovel, does it? It's fine. It's like a bunch of arrows. Yeah. And then the handles. I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Also, why am I using Control Z to undo what I'm doing? Oh, actually, that looks nice. Who's gonna want to eat a shovel donut? Oh yeah, it's blue. Yeah, this donut has four arrows on it. Feel free to chow down. It's like the weirdest clock you've ever seen. Hmm. Hmm. This doesn't look very appetizing. Let's add in like some squig- ugh. What even is this anymore? This is like a- This is like a viking shield here. Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, let's undo all of this. I know what has to be done. I'm gonna go with a, uh, a bright seafoam green. When it eventually spreads, Okay, I'm gonna do it, um, I'm gonna do it this way, so Handle here, handle here Oh, that's not gonna work I'll just make a big shovel here and have it on the other side too Yeah, okay, so we'll have that uh, and I want to color in the blue though, but it's not gonna work. No, I need to plan ahead. Plan ahead. Okay, I'm gonna like goop this. Oh, it looks so good too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just like. No, it's too high up though. Okay. There we go. Splurge here. And now I'm gonna go for- oh, that looks- mm. I'm sure that's good enough, right? It's- no one's expecting perfection from like a one dollar cookie or a, a- a donut or whatever this is supposed to be. Some people do though, they're like, uh, excuse me, uh, this donut has uh, 15 sprinkles, I was hoping it would have 24. Usually get to my order, right? Pretty please, if you could just sprinkle a few more, but not too many! If you put on 40 sprinkles, I shall return this pastry post-haste! I don't know who that was supposed to be, but that was pretty fun to voice. The sprinkles! Anyway. Uh, I liked having the, um, the handle be a solid color like that. Yeah, okay. This is just looking like, uh... This is just looking like a, a vinyl record I would design. <laughs> Actually, I should do a lighter cream color. That's too big. That's too small. Okay. It doesn't really make a difference, does it? If it makes me feel better, you thought these were CDs until you realized they were eating them. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I they kind of do look like CDs. Like, design a holy. They don't mention it's food. I guess the oven kind of gave it away, but... I, I mean, I, I kind of assume these were like vinyl records at first, too. I don't think this really needs a handle. I could make it like the shovel striker that has its own special handle. Yeah, that kind of completes the per the picture, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a... Um, it's only two blues to choose from. Technically three, I guess. Let's give it a darker blue. Yeah. There we go. 
I mean, it is looking good now, but I feel like it's still missing something. Gotta complete the spade part. I feel like it's missing dirt. But the only dirt I can get is... Ugh. Ugh. It just looks like someone smudged jam all over it. <laughs> also, who's gonna eat, like, a, an entirely, like, 80% seafoam green donut? It is a nice shade of brown. It's kind of like, um, it's almost like a grayish, darker, like, lav- and it's not lavender. Hmm. It, it's kind of- what is the color here? I keep wanting to say auburn, but auburn's not a color. It kind of- it's kind of a descriptor. It, it's the brown of the fall. If that makes any sense, it, I don't think it does. You just smashed a bunch of colors on yours? Well, I was probably gonna do that too, but I realized maybe I should put a little bit of attempt into this since I'm, you know, just... I figure since I'm here, I might as well give the people a nicely designed bit of donut thing. I guess I can have it, like, be the dirt that it's in? Ugh. Ugh, what am I doing? Hmm. Oh, you, you put, um, literally like a bunch of color. Oh, that sounds really nice. Maximum effort. You gotta have it nice and colorful. That's what the people like. They love bright, delicious, decadent desserts. And I'm over here putting like... Yeah, this is fudge donut. It's got, duh. <laughs> it's got dirt on it. Duh. Try selling that to somebody. Here's your dirt nut. <laughs> Take a big bite out of that if you want. Oh, this doesn't look... This isn't really coming together, is it? <laughs> Maybe if I could color the rest of this background back to the color... I was gonna... Man! Maybe I'll painstakingly recolor this. Oh, that's gonna... This is really not worth the effort, but I want it to look good. Just surrounded by dirt. Gotta be perfect. Gotta like pixel perfect zoom in. Well, I did color over by mistake. Let's not worry about that. Oh, oh, the slopping. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't even think about that. Okay, well. Maybe I can justify this being like, oh, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a sunset, except for the, the sun is, uh, you know, uh, sea foam colored, I guess. Yeah. Interestingly enough, this is the most effort I've put into something so far in this game. And it's just, like, donuts. Oh, you sent me a pic? Alright, I'll take a look later. Thank you. I Knowing you, I bet it has, like, a billion really nice colors on it, and it doesn't look as bad as this. <laughs> I'm using tilt controls! It's fine. I think my work looks pretty good. No one else would make a shovel at this point. This is very unique. A unique identifier. It's my brand. The shovel donut. You had different color options to pick from. Interesting. Let's see here. No, I'm not finished yet. That was the space bar. Don't do. Don't do it. On a scale of one to pink, how pink is it? That's the space bar again. No. Zoom out. Oh, this doesn't look... Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta stick with my guns. I need to... Mm, I need to be confident in my work. Very pink. Nice. Plenty of other colors. 
Sounds about right. Meanwhile, I'm just like, this is this is dirt. Also, why is why does why does the white keep moving? <laughs> why is the like why is the underlying color not filling in? <laughs> oh, I know how to tie this together. I know exactly how to tie this together. Uh, what's a good color for this? <laughs> oh, it looks so... It's so beautiful. Now, I need to write it upside down. Yeah. How do I loop my G's upside down? That's a six. DI6. Can you six it? Dig. Make the... Uh. Uh. It kind of just looks like, um... Looks like mold. And that, that one connected, so now the bottom one looks like nonsense. Okay, let's fix that. Oh, that's going into the shovel. That's going back into the D. Okay. It almost looks like dye mirrored on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Dig or die. <laughs> no, I promise if you look at it like if you look at it upside down, it's totally a G. Totally. <laughs> it totally. You don't understand. It, it makes it, 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 here. I'll 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 try to prove a point. Okay, okay. Is this worth the amount of effort I'm putting into what I'm doing right now? The answer is no, but the payoff will be immense. Okay. So let me let me show you um, let me show you how this is gonna work. So here's here's what we have now, right? Dig or die. However, if you rotate it around, it does show G. Dig. 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 That was, I don't think that was worth the sidetrack, but you know, sometimes in life you just gotta go into MS Paint and smash something as a joke. Anyway, I think this is pretty good. Is there anything else I can add? Like an outer, like a, a circular outline here? I don't think that anyone's going to really pay attention to this as they're eating them. Oh, that looks good, actually. Like a little, uh, a little circle outline. Yeah. But now I got to fix the shovel. Oh. This really doesn't look... <laughs> It's fine. We'll add a circle to the center too. Gah. At this rate, I'm going to be done with like chapter two and it'll be like four hours. <laughs> okay, I think this is good enough. We got the double digging. We have the two shovels. We got the dual wielding. There it is. Ah, uh, it's perfect. I'll get started extracting the colors. I have to make a ton. I'm sure people will be lining up any minute. Anyone want to line up? I'll be your first customer. I'll sit at the bar. The green bar, the red bar. Nice. Oh, I can just go into the machine a bit. Just a little bit, a little taste. Alrighty, start lining up. Oh, look at all these friends. We got Raisin, Cantaloupe, and Guac is the Capybara we still have to talk to. It is really cool that your drawings do influence the world. Like, literally, you made the sign and you put all the effort into it and it just stays there and shows. I love that so much. Hello, Raisin. You're gonna blend in here. Yeah, it's holy time. Love it. Love the holy. Take me to the holy dimension. I love the color specials. I don't even like holies that much. 
Well, there's just something so special about the colored ones. Like eating magic. I think bugs like eating color too. What are you, a lazy villager? <laughs> the bugs in my floor told me we should make this DIY. Totally get it, I'm just like them. You can color it. You can probably make me eat anything. What if I color you though? Let's not ask that question. How's it going, Guac? You're gonna be green. Young people these days, I didn't think the capybara would have an older voice. They barely make time to talk to others. Maybe they'll interact once, but then they move on. It's those darn social medias, they're always eating their Tic Tacs. I don't know why the young kids always enjoy eating those mints in the boxes, but they seem to really like it and it makes things popular. Don't they realize how much they're missing? I try to interact with everyone multiple times. It's true, I do that for everyone in most games. Even when they do interact, they use controller B to skip through the conversation quickly. Who would dare skip one of these conversations? Why can't they take the time to pause and listen? Maybe I'm just slow. I appreciate you stopping to listen. Maybe the young folks are doing all right after all. Why don't you take this? You got some trash. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the effort to listen to his life story and he just gives me like his leftover wrappers from his otter pop. Uh, thanks. Well, everyone's lining up. A macaroon, oh, turnips here too. I love holies. They're like perfect circles from heaven. Num num num. Oi! I'm so pumped for holy. I'm getting fired up. The colors are cool too. I wonder how they get these on food. I wonder how they get those on food. I'm first in line because I made them. Everyone loves the new color specials. Chicory wasn't around so much, so the design hadn't actually changed in a while. It's exciting to have a new one. Thanks again. The color process is complicated. My <laughs> Doing all those voices in a row was probably not the smartest idea. I'll drink water to that. Dr. Cheese? Okay, we need to talk about the name Dr. Cheese. I need to meet this person immediately. <laughs> Dr. Cheese developed it at the color lab near Brecky. Honestly, I have no idea how it actually works. All I know is it's edible. People go nuts for holies of a splash of color. That's why they come here from all over. Now we're turning into a news reporter for some reason. Dr. Cheese is definitely some kind of genius. Her work on color is such a gift to the world. Kind of a waste that we're using it just to make holies. Uh, I bet you could make uh, you can meet her someday as a wielder. Yeah, that's uh, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Did you see the tapioca turn around? As soon as I like, as soon as I took away the color, tapioca's like, "Uh, what are you doing?" <laughs> You messing with my store? <laughs> Get out of here! Oh gosh, Brussels sprout and peppermint. Who? Oh, I gotta do the Brussels sprout voice again. I'm so excited for the new color special. I've eaten every single color special. Every single one my whole life. So now if I miss even one, it would be like I failed. It's too real. Peppermint. You're the new wielder, right? So you designed this hallway. Wow, I really like it. It's becoming Sonic now. <laughs> uh oh, Lisa's train is gotta speed up. <laughs> it really speaks to me on a deep level. I can't wait to see what else you do. Why can I do this voice? That voice needs to never happen again. It's a good thing. It will never be seen again. Until the next time we see this person. Anyway, what's next? We got a massive walkway of cheese over here. There's one of these benches. Some sort of a, like a cheese grater? Oh, I know what's next. We got a dormant jowl, some human, cause it's time to take a break. <laughs> Thanks, it's uh, welcome to the three hour mark and I'm still in chapter two. This is a very long game apparently. 
Mostly because I'm goofing around the whole time, having fun. I love this so much. I probably should have sat down during that, but you know, <laughs> that's, that's fine. It's fine. I think I want to... Oh. Oh, Cheeseburg! Oh, it's Mom and Pa's house! I think I want to add... Look at that cute mug. I I'm interrupting myself because I see so many fun things in this room. I love it. I want to at least finish chapter two today. I don't know how much longer it is, but... Let's at least get through that. Oh, Cheeseburg! Hi, Mom. <laughs> so it's treason. It's treason. So it's true then. Chicory really gave you the brush. Yep. Oh, Cheeseburg. That's incredible. Also, why did you just... <laughs> why did you just paint my potted plant? Cheeseburg. Cheeseburg, no! <laughs> Not the television! Actually, I think that's a, a photo frame. Your papa's going a little crazy over there. You always talked about wanting to be like her. I'm so proud of you. Huh, <laughs> thanks. Dad and I heard you'd be coming to Potluck. Oh, with the growth at the Wielder Temple. You must be so busy. Oh, I won't keep you. Say hi to your sister at the Academy. Aw. What lovely, caring parents. It's so good to see you, Cheeseburg. Are you doing okay with everything? Are your teeth clean? Did you pick up your transit ID yet? Aw, Mom. <laughs> so cute. Also noticing uh, right now, like, the brush has some transparent pixels here. And that's gonna bug me now. Like, I know you can't color the base of the brush, but... Seeing these, like, little transparent pixels... I don't know if anyone even notices or cares, but... That's gonna bug me now. Oh, of course I have. <sighs> Still a terrible liar. Yep. I tried to say, you know, be as honest as possible. You've been of age for years now. Take care of that in dinners after your wielder duties. I wonder what's for dinners. Can't believe you're really a wielder. Also, did you just uh, dump a bunch of green paint onto my new table? Dad and I didn't even know that was an option for um, a cleaner. Uh, excuse me, mother, the term is janitor. If anything, we thought it might be your sister someday. Well, I mean, it still could be. What a talented family. We're so blessed. Also, you don't believe in me. You ever lost or unsure what to do? You can always call us here. You know our number. Just use a phone booth. Your phone is now red. Enjoy. I want to draw a pretty picture in here. But I can't. What's up, Pops? Uh, Pops? Hello? You, uh, you okay there? Or... You literally just only talk to me through the phone, huh? Okay, well. I see how it is. You might as well give a nice splash of color to the old fam's house. So you'll see here in this family portrait that's now red. No. You'll see here that there's Ma and Pa, Little Cheeseburg, and Sis apparently is... I can't gleam any information from this. Sis is a pup, obviously, but... I'm sure we'll find Sis somewhere? Anyway, enjoy the nice coat of paint. There you go, fam. Don't mind this little piece right here. This was, uh, that, that little blobule was there when I got here. No, it's for my parents. Of course I'm gonna fix the paint. Are you kidding me? We're gonna paint the entire town red. Kind of ominous. Anyway. Oh. Wait, is that sis? Clementine? That was fast. <laughs> They did say where she is, but I, I thought the Academy was like Somewhere else not one square away <laughs> one one, uh, one entire map tile to the left Cheeseburg mom said you might be visiting it's right next to the house though I Thought this was gonna be like a you got to go to dinners in order to find the Academy Wow How amazing Oh, this is my BFF Radish. I love these names. 
I'm so honored to meet a famous talent like you. Oh, thanks. People like your sister and I bust our butts every day, practicing art, honing our craft, just to get a shot at maybe someday. Someone's a little upset, a little bitter, wielding status like yours. You must be some kind of genius. Ugh, wiggly. Um, come to a class sometime. I'd love to learn from a master like you. Wow, the, the sarcasm is oozing right now. Someone's angry. Also, I, I can't give sis my color, so... Um... Isabel, apparently! <laughs> Thank you, subconscious! And off she went. Sorry, I promise she's not always like that. She's right, though. She is? Definitely. You should come to an art class. Oh, whew. I thought she was gonna say, uh, definitely, you don't deserve it. Oh, also, don't look behind you because the school is turning a, uh, a very interesting shade of orange. I didn't do it. It was like that when I got here. Is that a fountain on top? What is that? They're inside here. Do it. Come visit. Oh, there's a big old raccoon on top. Am I gonna call my parents? Okay. What is this chain of events here? Oh, you should go see your sister. Gah. Blood red. Go see your sister. One screen over. There she is. Hey, you wanna get some advice? <laughs> you could just come home. It is my job as a wielder to color it in. That is true. I should really be coloring more. But I just, I have, there's too much stuff to do. What a great wielder. Oh, can I do it later? It's too much effort. Ooh, goopy. I can at least keep the paths consistent, right? Have the inside of that red. Let's call home. <laughs> hey, Cheeseburg, you were here a second ago. Okay. If you want to continue with the main story, you want to head in the direction of the Wielder Temple. Otherwise, the next part with your family is taking an art class which unlocks things. Well, I mean, art class is pretty good, though. It's me, Mom. We just saw each other. Oh, Jesus, Berg. How's it going? Go investigate the Wielder Temple outside of Potluck with strange things. Folks in the... Happy foothills are in trouble, too. There's so much going on, but it's a weirder's job to take care of it. Oh, here comes a long claw of Papa. It was sweet of you to call, Cheeseburg. Oh. I really feel like I should let him talk, but I don't want to get, like, the hint. Sorry, Dad. Maybe that's why he don't talk to me when I come home. <laughs> Goodbye, sweetie. Okay. What's the current state of uh, the world here? So not colorful. I promise I'll color this in eventually, in three to five business years. Ah, oh, Turnip. Turnip's got a whole family here. Turnip and Grits and Fritter and Granita and Treacle and Custard. I think at minimum I need to be consistent. Consistency is ideal for being a wielder. Why did that one not color? Weird. Oh, duh, it's a child. Durr. <laughs> Basic gameplay mechanic. How remember? How can remember play video game when stream on internet for people? It's all about your style. Yeah, it's, that is true. Consistency is key, but at the same time, I kind of just shove stuff everywhere. As long as it's colorful. As long as it's pretty. And you also want to make all these things different colors, too. Uh, rats. Badger? Custard and treacle. Now, are these all part of the same family? They're kind of blending in with the background here. I do kind of regret that. Maybe I'll switch this around a bit. There we go. Alternate the colors. 
Yeah. Pardon me for a second, Turnip. I got some colors to dunk. Got like a cheese grater here. Okay. If only there was a Control Z button on the overworld. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, there's another one I can't reach. Okay, that's just gonna have like a a dumping of custard then. Ugh, custard dumping. Hey, turnip. What is up? Hello. Please don't tell my family about how I got lost coming here. I'll never hear the end of it. It's a big family, isn't it? But I've always been the baby. They're always on my case about getting lost and needing help. You don't prove them wrong, though. You got lost like five times, little guy. Which did happen again this time. But I was so close. Basically, I've always wanted to be in charge of something important. That's why I was excited to talk to the wielder about the temple. What do you think? Did I do a good job? Heck yeah. I'm glad my little bro turnip is okay. I love the kid, but he is a bit of a goofball. I always got to keep an eye on him. Okay, grits. Turnip's always getting lost somehow. Poor kid can barely make it to the holy shop from here. That's a screen or two over. But he made it to luncheon and back the same. Maybe he just ain't a kid anymore. One time, Turnip went to grab us some holies. And he just didn't come back. <laughs> Turnip, please. And I'm like, the holy shop is right there. Apparently he got scared by a bug. I don't know. And then he wound up halfway across Picnic. Classic, classic turnip. He finally came back with the holies in the dead of the night. I was too guilty to tell him I'd already went and got some. What a supportive family. Fritter and uh, Gaspacho, whoever that was. Hello, hello. Our family's been here in potluck for generations, since before the Art Academy. Did you know a mouse is one of the first wielders? Don't underestimate us because we're small. Granita, that's right. The Art Academy and the temple is dirt as dirt. Well, all around in potluck, it's changed over the years. Kids travel here from all over for the school. We're lucky to be surrounded by a family here. I like these friends. They're very nice. Yeah, this color palette really just totally blends in, doesn't it? It's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Any secrets? Probably not. Treacle and Custard, what is up? The new wielder, what an honor. Did you come here because of our boy Turnip? Yes, yes, we sent him. We saw the strange growth on the temple of our own eyes. What's worse, the way in is completely blocked. Yeah, we were hoping to go see the art. <laughs> it's usually so lovely. What are these voices? Have you been to the wielder temple? If you're a wielder, you must have, right? Urgent news on the front. <laughs> Got all sorts of history on the wielder in the bush. Yeah, and lovely art too. Could you make my trunks red? Thank you. <laughs> That's a national treasure. We hope you can fix it. Well, that was quite an adventure, wasn't it? Yeah, it's literally right here though. How could you get lost? This one will be yellow. Inconsistency is the best kind of consistency. I'm also now noticing that this pathway was not yellow, it was green. Oh, it's like cheese sludge. Just randomly color these plants too. It's all whatever you want to make of it. The entire world can be whatever glistening bright colors you so desire to see it as. Let's take a seat. This is very chill. Besides like the, the big boss fight and the scary stuff, it is a pretty chill game. Okay, we should check out the Art Academy. I'm gonna color this in really quick. Might as well. Get some red cliffs going here. Yeah. Looking good. Alrighty. Maybe alternate with uh, some yellow up top. 
Achievement, you've spent 40 hours literally coloring every single pixel in the game. Here's your platinum. Okay. Let's get a move on here. Maybe I should uh, switch my outfit a little bit. And get the brim cap and put on the, um, I mean, the hoodie's so good though. Yeah. Just classic. Okay. Let's go to the left first. Oh, hello, Straw Hat. How's it going? Wielder Temple this way. Couscous. Now that's a name. Hey there, Couscous. I got some pathing to color in first. We need to brighten this world. I don't know why uh, sometimes going over it colors, other times it don't. But that's no problem. I gotta pick up this trash first, don't worry, I'm gonna talk to you in a second. Hello, Couscous. Oh, I don't know what to do! The people of Elevenses are trapped! Dun, dun, dun! There was some kind of rock slide! My family is there! And the old wielder, Cardamom! I know those, these names are so delicious. But I don't know what anyone can do about it. I can help. I'm the new wielder, actually. <laughs> we put in all that confidence and uh, Couscous is just like... <laughs> but doesn't that just mean you're an artist? What else can you do about fallen rocks? Oh, I don't know. But I'll figure it out. Cheeseburg brimming with positivity. My family's still in Elevenses. I just happened to be here in Potluck when the rocks fell. I can't tell if that was lucky or not. I hope they're all okay. There were horrible tremors that loosened the rocks. Then all the colors vanished, and then terrifying trees grew all over the temple. What's going on anyway? Is it the end of the world? No, it's just shy guys. I'd ask Cardamom, but he's trapped in Elevenses too. He just came to Pollock to get groceries. Wow. I'm still holding the food I bought for them. My ice cream's gonna melt, man. <laughs> it's perilous times. Oh, I hope they aren't going hungry. Oh man. I know living remotely has its risks, but we never really thought about this happening. Oh, don't worry, Couscous. We're gonna help you get home in some capacity. I don't know how, I don't know when, but Getting your family safe will be priority numero uno, eventually. Let's do some more painting here. I like that the um, the ground tiles kind of just look like melted pizza. Hey, it's a clothing shop. Oh, we got all sorts of friends here. I want this hat. I want this uh, this ensemble. Bird. Bird. Alrighty. Oh, what is that, like, giant moo moo rug in the center? Ugh. Tactile. There's a big bright shoe. There's, like, a, a mushroom chicken outfit. And a fox friend. I don't know why this isn't spreading. There we go. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and uh, make some of these people stand out a bit. Okay. Add some more splashes of display coloring. And a green here. We have caramel and salt. <laughs> Howdy, welcome to the clothing shop. Hmm. How smug can I look? <laughs> hmm. Howdy, welcome to the clothing shop. In today's modern world, who has time to look for clothes, am I right? <laughs> oh dear. You ever see gifts just out of reach or a word you miss some entirely? Well, and now you don't have to worry. We can get you just about any clothes out there. So if you miss out on any clothing, you can just buy it, I guess. Just give us a piece of clothing to take its place. Oh, this is where the trash goes, isn't it? 
Hence, clothing swap. Now serving luncheon and supper woods. Hey, King J, what's up? We are playing Chicory. We're in chapter two already. There's a lot of coloring going on. We're talking to all these crazy friends. And the nibble tunnel. Want to swap a piece of clothing? Do I? Great. <laughs> First, pick what clothing you want. A sun hat. I get it now. This is the sun hat we need in order to go back to get the other, um, whatever new clothing our sheep friend has. So you're taking that sun hat. Yeah. Now pick something to exchange for it. Did you come at the end of the stream? Um, I want to finish chapter two. I feel like I have like at least 30 minutes left or so. We'll see how it goes. But Chicory is really fun if you haven't picked it up or noticed that it exists. It's a really cool little coloring game. Um, there's some uh, darker content, but they have like content warning stuff you can activate in the settings. It's pretty cool. So I have that on just in case, uh, you know, for flexibility for streaming, in case anyone needs to step out when there's a really serious event that happens. Uh, no, not the bow. I wanted to trade, um, let's see here. Sun hat will go for the, um, I mean, the glasses are cute. Oh, this is a hard decision. It's gotta be the regular glasses. You've been watching uh, Arceus theories of after that weird teaser? Oh yeah. People are talking about how it might be like a, uh, you see in uh, Zoroark or something, right? Cause they, they described it kind of like the, the Growlithe, but it wasn't the Growlithe. That's gonna be interesting. I need the sun hat, whoa. Whoa, okay, if I hold down. <laughs> <laughs> if I hold down a direction and move my mouse, it kind of freaks out a bit. Let's do it. Okay. Caramel, go find the sun hat and swap it with the round glasses. Yeah, I saw some really cool fan art of it, too. Whoa, there's some fighting going on back there or something. Done. You got the sun hat. I'll wear it for now. Thanks for your business. We're gonna swap, uh, I call those pants by mistake. We're gonna swap these stripey tea because we're probably gonna need that later. What should we exchange for it? Oh, you can choose the uh, accessory too. I thought it had to be like a one-to-one -one swap with the uh, accessory or the clothing itself. Um, what's a good one to, I feel like the kerchief is a bit redundant, but it does allow for more accessibility. Maybe the top kerchief is more redundant. Yeah, let's get rid of the actual kerchief. We can always put the shirt on. There we go. Yeah. If it was Zora, it was an illusion, so the guy isn't dead, otherwise he's dead. Yeah, he got a bit bonked, didn't he? <laughs> he got a little destroyed in that found footage, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's probably all an illusion. We got the stripey tee. Hey, Caramel. I'm the for the cooling shop. I can run clothes out to any gift in picnic. If you want to do any swapping, talk to Salt. Cooling swap was Salt's idea. I thought it sounded fun, so I'm helping him out. We're still figuring out the details as we go. I think it's nice to help folks find the clothes they like. Not really a fashion guy, though. I just really like running. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, so next up, we're gonna check down here really quick. A platypus? Harry the Red Palatopus. I don't have blue right now. That would have been a funny, mildly interesting joke otherwise, but whatever. <laughs> Ugh. I just completely covered him in cream. It's fine. It's barley. Yeah, that movie looks really great. I'm excited for it. As I said before, I know nothing about that franchise, but you give me that animation style, heck yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Let's color the rest of the cliff here. We can't color the water, I think. Okay. Yeah, it does kind of, uh, it inks away in the water. Kind of like pixely. We got some more coloring to do here. And just kind of, uh, sploosh this one. A little haphazardly. 
Yeah, it looks interesting. I'll check it out. Barley. A lot of older individuals here. Back when I was young, it was all about abstractionism. That's when mustard was wielder. I need water after all these voices I've been doing. Gotta hydrate. Everything was weird, but you know what? It was good. Nowadays, people want things to be beautiful, but I liked when wielders were wacky, zany, crazy, if you will. Ugh. You ask me, pot looks the best place in picnic. Bigger in luncheon, but not so big and noisy as dinners to the north. The art academy filled in town, fills the town with bright, creative kids. We're right on the edge of the big drink. The big drink in the ocean. Nothing makes me happy like listening to the waves morning and night. Oh, he's still going. That's what I love about this game. There's so much dialogue, but my voice does not like it. Have you seen the metal workshop east of town? There's a fella who crafts wonderful things there. Sometimes you can hear him working late into the night. Now get out of here. <laughs> oh, there's a present over here. Okay, cool. There's also a kitty cat trapped in the tree. Oh no, I can't get to it. Oh, this is awkward. Hmm. You can't believe that uh, Arceus is in three months. I can't believe that 2022 is in three months. What? As I was saying earlier, um, I made a promise a long time ago. I don't know if you were there for that or if anyone was there for that. I promised that I would play Chicory at launch and it came out in June and now it's the end of October. And so thanks to a little gentle prodding from Jen reminding me that I needed to do this, I'm playing it now at immediate cost. I did it. Straight up, I did it. We're, we're here, we're playing it. And it's not because I didn't want to play it, it's just because, as we said earlier, there's been so many indie games coming out the last few months, like I can't even, I, I still have so much to catch up on. And I barely like started, um, I started doing demo videos on my YouTube channel rather than trying to get all the demo things to work live on stream. It's been pretty fun. So I'm thinking I might start doing more short recordings for there too. Yes, Indie Overload. They're everywhere. So many freaking good games. I'm just like, um, my wish list is uh, completely destroyed now because of all the events. And I want to play all these games. So my compromise was I was like, I'm going to start doing shorter like demo recordings and stuff. Just to try it out. It's worked pretty well so far. I, I did six of the Steam Next Fest demos. They're on my YouTube channel right now, Digapliss. Once again, advertising on stream. Along with a bunch of unboxing videos that I've been busy with. Yeah, there's just so many good indies. It, they, they get overlooked. Like, literally besides like two people, myself included, no one else has even talked about Chicory or mentioned getting it. I mean, I've tried to get people to buy it and they're like, uh, I mean, maybe when it's on sale. And that's one of the problems of indie games. Everyone's always like, I'll wait for the game to be on sale. And that's a fair assessment. Games are expensive, but indie games are pretty cheap. And I love supporting the devs. I mean, this this game alone is going to be like 30 hours <laughs> because I'm only on chapter two. I don't know how many chapters there are, and it's three and a half hour stream so far. Yeah, I don't know how you play so many demos, Jen. You're such a trooper. You're just like one after another. You just keep going. I'm so... You really inspire me with that. I don't know how you can do it, and if only I could have the powers. Oh yeah, Pumpernickel. Oh, what was Pumpernickel's voice again? It was like, uh, I, I was curious about the work of our new wielder. So I came to observe. It's interesting to compare your choices with your predecessors. So, as I mentioned earlier, the more you color, the more friends start to visit or pop in every once in a while. You got 60 bucks on your Switch waiting for the Pokemon remakes? Hey, you only got at least a month. Wait, it's the 20th. When do those come out again? Less than a month? More than a month? They're in there somewhere. You certainly have a very personal style. Well, thank you. This door is now yellow. 
Well, I suppose we should check out the Art Academy. Is that everything so far? I forgot to color my parents' house on the outside. Awkward. There we go. Uh, did we go right? Missed a tile. We didn't go right. Oh, there's more. Never mind. And down. Oh my gosh. Okay. How did I not go these directions? November 19th. Thank you. That's the day they came out. I keep forgetting for some reason. Like every time I read anything about those, I just immediately like it, it just goes in one ear and out the other. Okay. What's next? There's a blank area here. Sips River? Hmm. I don't think I should go there yet. I'll go down here instead. Wait a minute. New area, new colors. Let's check them out. We have a light blue, light green. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a lot to choose from here. Okay. Let's take a let's take a look. I think this is the blue I've been waiting for. It's not too light, not too dark. Let's give it a try. Press the right button. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cute. That's a pretty solid color pairing. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and dedicate the entire ground to this new color. And listen to that lovely serene music. So nice. At this rate, I might end up like just doing the Art Academy and being done for today. Because <laughs> I'm taking so long going through everything, just soaking it in. Oh yeah, the house. The house. House, house, house. House. Let's make the ground blue here. Let's, let's have some creative fun with it. It's like it's by the ocean. Paper Mario Invasion of the Claymation. Hey, if you want a good claymation game, I did a playthrough of the demo for The Ballad of Bonky on YouTube. And that game is freaking hilarious. I had knew nothing about it. I saw it during Steam Next Fest and I tried it out. And I love it so much. It's like this really cool like claymation bonk em up where you, you bonk stuff with your uh, various materials. It's another thing that literally no one else has talked about that I know about. Like, I'm just going to try this out then, and it was really freaking fun. <laughs> so if you're interested, you can check that out. Check out the game. You watch my playthrough, too. I don't know why I have to advertise to my return viewers. <laughs> I'm just excited. Let's color these over here too. I'm just having a chill time. What's in this house? Oh, potato. Now that's a pretty solid friend. Speaking of like hammers and stuff. Okay. I'll give him a nice uh, blue outer area. Flat Stanley's Revenge. <laughs> I don't think, um, when was the last time I heard about that? When was the last, like, a decade ago? <laughs> no, th there's been, uh, I think Conan made a joke about it during one of his sketches. I don't remember. Anyway, I need to, uh, not have this all blending in. Let's give Potato uh, that nice, solid coloring. Well, howdy! I like making stuff. You're an artist, right? I could make you a brush style if you come back with a kit for it. Maybe you should stay at the Art Academy. I like making stuff, me too. Yeah. Okay, he's got the, the repeat stuff going on. Let's... I guess I'll do the Academy. Yep, rip Blue Sky Studios. Gone but never forgotten, especially when Disney starts advertising. You can watch Ice Age on Disney Plus. Like, well, I mean, we could have had more, but okay. Look at all this trash down here. I need to remind myself. Trash there. <laughs> okay. Gah. So bright. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the academy for now. There's so much to explore. 
No, wait. We need to talk to the zebra, too. Oh, uh, there's like 50 things I want to do right now. Progress is the wielder temple, so I guess... I guess we could check the other way, too. I just hear like a ding? Or is that part of the music? Okay. Part of the music it is. I'm guessing for that area we have to come down from the bottom. Yeah, Rio and the Peanuts movie, fantastic. Love to get more of those, but you know, blue sky, bye bye. It's fine. It's kind of not though. This area will be a nice, uh, big, creamy yellow. Literally, like all of it though. Uh, these trees can have a nice orange texture on them. Now, gray would be nice for our zebra friend. Cause some of these potted plants. Or rather, just like hanging vines. They're not potted. This one is though. That's a good compromise. I don't know why I put a red dot on that roof. We got some friends here. We got miso and broccoli. Not the most zebra name, but I guess it works. Miso, you've gotten so much taller. Cheeseburg, you're still really short. I'm almost done school now. Where did grammar go? That's so cool. I can't believe you grew up so fast. Well, I can't believe my old babysitter is the wielder. Remember staying up late watching scary movies? It is almost Halloween after all. I gotta rewatch my Halloween movies. I gotta get Monster House. I gotta get Nightmare Before Christmas. I gotta get, um, well, actually, NBC is a toss up for me. I usually do it like, I compromise on the Halloween or Christmas bit by watching it in November. That's also plane, trains, and automobiles, though. The Japanese trailer is spookier because it's got like the the, the voices. I don't know. The payoff will be interesting. I'm curious to see what that trailer leads to. What Pokemon will it be? Oh yes, my parents would never show me them. But I love scary movies so much. Well... I still love that you can drag the UI, it's so good. Um, I mean, I'm not a big fan of scary movies. I, I like the dramatic tension. I like, um, like psychological stuff. I like universal monsters. I don't like the jump scares, like the Bleh! It's Like, oh, cool. Thanks for the cheap thrill, I guess. I like the seeping inevitable spookiness coming in, but you, it's like a subtle buildup and you don't know what's gonna happen, but there's no jump scare. It's like, dread. I gotta play that still. Yeah, that might be the case. Might be just like, ah, I gotta rewatch that. Uh, I'm just gonna say, I'm not terrified of scary movies. I'm just not a big fan. Nah, that's fine. Who did always scream the loudest? I wanted to impress you and be the cool babysitter. Well, the screaming didn't come off very cool. <laughs> Not very impressive. Yeah, those are those ones are pretty tame in comparison. I'm talking like the actual horror movies that have like the really like the ah, the really scary. I don't know. But you were undoubtedly the coolest babysitter. We still got more. I want to work in a public service after I graduate. I think I'll move north to dinners. <laughs> it's canon that every time you say dinners, it has to be like the CDI sound. Dinner. Maybe work at Province Hall if I'm lucky. Wow, so important. Good luck. Thank you. Let's talk to Broccoli. Is that not out yet? I feel like they've been talking about that for months. I study and teach art history here. Recent events have proven to be quite a crisis. We never anticipated such a sudden, drastic loss of color. So many old wielder artworks have vanished at once. For some pieces, all we have are black and white reproductions. Hmm. Hmm. Generally, wielder colors do fade very, very slowly. Slowly enough that you'd barely notice in a lifetime. 
something we know thanks to the work of Dr. Cheese. I can't wait to meet her. I love her name. Is she a mouse or is she gonna like exceed all my expectations and just straight up be like a flamingo? A flamingo named Dr. Cheese. Doesn't that sound fantastic? Not really, but okay. <laughs> it's also why we need wielders to occasionally touch up old works. I suppose you've got your work cut out for you. As a historian, I've got a lot to do too. Reviewing everything we've lost and preserving what we can. Everyone at the Art Academy is in a frenzy, I can tell you that. If you ever have a chance to stop by there, well, I'm sure you have your own problems. <laughs> How long is the Art Academy gonna take? I feel like I, sh I it's really just gonna be, I'm gonna do that and that's probably gonna be it for tonight. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff was hit with the old delay hammer. You know, bonk. That's just the way of the world right now. No biggie, you can wait. Ah, yes. The ocean. That's all there is here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. This might be the blue I've been looking for. I said that earlier, but... Ooh, it's kind of perfect, though. Ooh, I love it. Mmm, I think that's pretty good. The green's pretty good, too. Yes, exactly. I'm so blue right now. You can't- you can kind of see me. I'm blue because I know that I can't play this for like the next... eight hours because I, I need to not... I need to not. <laughs> I gotta do it piecemeal. I have to enjoy this lovely world. One step at a time. Almost forgot the litter. Also, this is where we come down from to get to the other place. Yeah. There we go. Alrighty. This is where we come to to get the kid. Dunk. Another sassy lost child. Oh, did Unite do something else to get people upset? <laughs> oh, that, I don't, there's, there's so much balancing that they need to do for that. A $40 Lucario skin? Are you kidding me? What? No way. I mean, I believe you. I'm not, I'm not doubting that. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> wow, okay. And it's limited time. What? What is this? Like all Hollowware, costume party style Lucario can only be bought with Aos Gems, a currency that cannot be earned in-game, only purchased in bundles. The Halloween Hollowware will set players back 200... Sorry, 2,500 Aos Gems, which cost $40. So... I'm getting big vibes of like, um... I'm getting vibes of like in... Remember in Mario Kart Tour when they had the $40 Diddy bundle? So, you're telling me that people ha they they want people to pay $40 for Lucario in Pumpkinware? Is that what I'm getting from this? This thing? <laughs> this is 40 bucks? <laughs> Lucario has like a cool hat on and a cape and a pumpkin. Is that it? <laughs> okay, I did not see that news story. That's hilarious. It, it does look cool, let's, let's not beat around the bush here, but not for 40 bucks. No way. No, that's fine, MK, I, I, that, that's, that's a, <laughs> I get, I get the feeling, the feelings are coming through there. Also, why did I not color this area? I'll just kind of like, Smoosh against the side of the, the, the rocks. Yeah, there we go. Nice. We'll get Squoven. They don't make you pay a lot of money for the characters, though. It's just the, uh, the costumes, right? I should get, like, a better balance of color here than just the blue. But I, I love the blue look so much, though. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, those shades. Oh, I know what I need. I need to go back to get the uh, the silver color. Yeah. 
That's what I need. I was trying to do this the opposite way. Perfect. Literally, literally perfect. At least until I get the next color. Okay, what's next? Yeah, who would win? A cheap new character or a $40 boy? <laughs> a $40 skin for a, a basically a mobile game. Uh, yeah, I think it's just the Art Academy, and uh, I kind of want to check the other path. They might have it blocked off, because I know the proper way is to go, like, you know, that direction. So if we head into Sips River, maybe there's, uh... Oh, no, this is a big area. Okay, um... Maybe there's just a lot of trash to collect? This is a huge area! Oh my goodness. Well... Do I go through Sips River? Or do I do the Academy and then go do the main stuff tomorrow? Next, I don't know when I'm going to stream this next. Kind of busy. He says as he makes more YouTube videos. <laughs> I didn't choose the toy collecting life. The toy collecting life chose me. I'll check the river really quick. Yeah, I gotta say, $40 for a skin is a pretty big no. No, thank you. No matter how cool it is, that's gonna be uh, a bad time. Make some cobble paths here. Doesn't have to be consistent, just has to be pretty and fun. Yeah. Like up here, these are gonna be silver trees. Nice. Sips River is not too big to look at, but do Art Academy until you can't anymore. Oh, it's not as long as you make it sound. Well, I'm not like tired or anything. I just, I feel like um, I shouldn't rush through it all. I have a bad habit of I, I need to play through this and experience it all in like a compact stream or two, <laughs> which isn't the case for these big games. You have to enjoy them. Let them, uh, let them simmer. Also, I promised I was gonna do Dread. <laughs> I really am a fake fan. You think I would have done that immediately? But alas, Judge Dread. Yes, I will be exclusively streaming the uh, the Dread movies on the Digga stream. I'll do the uh, what is it? The Amazon watch along. I don't know how that works, cause like. I guess you just have people hook up to it, and it still just shows you? It doesn't, like, if it showed the movie, you'd get in trouble. <laughs> like, what? Okay, let's go to the Art Academy. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally became a content creator. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I tend to, I tend to fumble into a lot of things. But my streaming knowledge really, uh, really helps out for these videos. Practicing of Marth and Smash, you had a win streak until a Sonic player wrecked you. That sounds about right. Sonic players are crazy. Okay. We're gonna do the Art Academy. Let's go for it. This is a lot smaller than I thought. Oh, there's a door. Okay. So we have a, uh, we have our sister here who is colored like Isabel. We have the, uh, the punk dog friend. We have what appears to be a heron or a crane? Who has now been absorbed by osmosis into a different coloring. It's hard to have them stand out when it's so... The colors are so similar. Maybe it's not like the best color for the floor. That's fine. Quinoa. Okay. Hey, sis. Surprised everyone already knows I'm the wielder. Word does travel fast, apparently. Like... They just run through the cavern or something? Students here are more interested than anyone to know who the wielder is. It's a big deal to some of us. Not me so much. But I'm super stoked for you. <laughs> Sis isn't very excited. Yeah, big art school vibes from this. Welcome to the art school expanded universe. 
Froshman was actually an animal, and he ended up taking a separate course that led him to this world. I guess everyone's extra surprised. Because the Wither usually comes from this academy. People study here hoping to get noticed. What about you? I just like art. <laughs> Being the wielder is a whole other thing. You enjoying it? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Cool. Hope you follow your bliss. Mom and Dad really miss you. Sis, I don't think you understand the chain of events here. We explained this earlier. Okay, I know you weren't around for this, but... We went to see Mom and Dad, whose house is one tile that way. That way, yes. That direction. There. Left. My left, you're right. Their house is one tile that way. The Art Academy's right here, and there's a phone booth to call them. They're scared of when I finally move out. Aw. They're gonna be lonely. Ah, what a bummer. But freedom, though. You still visit your folks. How's luncheon? It's okay. Never got out much, to be honest. Same, busy with art. What a very chat, uh, a chat, a very chill chat, very casual convo. That's how that sentence had to end. It's the life. Uh, look at the way that the text is waving slightly, gently in the breeze. Cool. Let's talk to Radish, who's a little bit of a firecracker, rather upset. Wow, you really showed up. Are you gonna take a class with us? Can't wait to see how good you really are. Your big sister has mentioned you a few times. Clementine's my younger sister. I'm older than her. Really? Oh. Well, she never mentioned you were an artist. We were really surprised when word got out about you being the new wielder and all. I was surprised too. Exactly. <laughs> I was not. Uh, I was not privy to that information until I was uh, the one to pick it up. And you know, much like uh, the dark saber or any sort of, like, Jedi traditions. As soon as you grab something, you own it. I'm a really big fan of Chicory's work. Aw, oh, me too. Right. So for her to choose you as her successor, it's a big deal to me. We really got to impress this individual here. How can blue dog come from yellow dog family that what mom is purple and dad is raccoon? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's what they do, though. They're trying to get all that information out so that everyone gets hyped up. It's kind of working. I want to see for myself. Quinoa. Oh, what an honor to meet you. I'm a professor here at the Academy. No matter your skill level, it's always good to practice and study. I don't know why I have to have my hand on my neck right here. I don't know. I'd love for you to join us in a class. Sure! <laughs> Ahem! Take your places, everyone. Alright, we're gonna do some art. Hello, I am Digga. It's my first day here at art school. Art school. Painting all the easels, turning them all red at the art school. Art school. Okay. Today's lesson is very special. Cheeseburg, the new wielder, is here with us. This'll be interesting. Oh, have they? I haven't really been keeping up with all that new information. I should probably take a look. Or maybe just wait it out. I don't know. Everyone get your brush styles ready. Here we go. Um. Wait, uh, what are those again? Who's this guy? Did we talk to him? Oh, yeah, Raisin. <sighs> Raisin? You really should know the terminology by now. Why don't we hear it from our special guest? Oh, um, uh-oh, put on the spot. Oh, no. This is awkward. I don't know what it is. How do we get out of the situation? We gotta say, um, you know, I know what it is, but perhaps someone else to explain it to those who don't know what it is. Exactly. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, it's, um, um, okay, what is the, uh, the, the new thing? Is it a preset shape, a special machine, a funny smell, or why don't you explain? 
I mean, it's gotta be funny smell, right? That's the best option. Yeah, there's a lot of new variations. I, I, I didn't realize there was news about those ones. Hmm. I'm kind of behind in stuff. Uh-oh, stinky. <laughs> All right, let's bring in stinky boot. Okay, well, we're going for a funny smell then. That's for uh, <laughs> a funny smell that's for your for nerds. <laughs> a funny smell for nerds to steal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It's a funny smell for nerds to steal stuff. <laughs> what a what a very appropriately timed stinky boot summon. Well, in a certain light, I suppose you're right. Could you demonstrate one? No, I'm not gonna make a stinky in front of everyone. That's awkward. Oh, uh, I left them at home. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave now. I'm sure you have more important things to remember. Take the starter set. You got the brush style starter kit. It's a stinky smell for nerds to steal stuff. <laughs> Birdie takes Chris video games and funny, funny smell. <laughs> you don't get it, Chris. The stank is what makes me a true gamer. <laughs> Oh, the big gifts have new brush styles. Okay, so that's what the hint was earlier. Oh, even... I mean, I wasn't wrong. Do you see these stank lines here? Do you, do you see what's happening? That brush style starter kit is definitely a smell for nerds to steal stuff. A very funny smell indeed. I'm not wrong. Remember, you can equip a brush style at any time using one, two, three, or four. All right, for today's assignment, I need to keep... Drinking water for this uppity voice. I want you all to draw something that expresses joy. Get to it. How do you leave a funny smell at home? It's really important. <laughs> yeah, if I had a funny smell, I wouldn't just keep it. Hmm. Well, in that case, I guess it's better not to be able to smell if it's very stinky. Everything will be okay. You won't have to smell it. Stinky boots a little pungent, too. But he's got a friendly smell. He's like, um, canonically speaking, he smells like tapioca butter. I don't think that's a real thing, but he smells like both of those combined. Honestly, not a bad smell. Something that expresses joy. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Is there supposed to be a limit to these circles? <laughs> no, okay. And now I have to undo all this like a, a big goof. Um... Something that expresses joy... I mean, if you give me green... Bleh. Um... So yeah, all the brush styles are basically just stamps, I guess. Cool. Yeah, but I am a character in Smash King, Jay. My me is. Though, I, I can't use my channel point friends. They're not, uh... They weren't able to make it to the brawl. Whatever I draw at the Academy will show up somewhere in the world. That is true. No pressure. What is something that expresses joy? Hmm. Yeah, I figured it was probably going to be the big frames. I can't just do another shovel again. That's so passe. <laughs> See, we were already in the same wavelength on that one. A smiling shovel. He <laughs> he's so cute. I should just draw a stinky boot. Oh, that one's got like a like a big chunk of heft to it. 
The. Okay. I will draw Stinky Boot. That's kind of cheating, though. He's right there on screen. He's literally right there. Well, I mean, I have to send him off in a minute, but... <laughs> Smiley Shovel for new channel point redemption? <laughs> How would that even work? Like, oh, here, here's, uh, here's the, sh the Smiley Shovel. He's got, like, the kawaii face. He's got, like, the, uh, the top here. He's got arms. Ugh. So which is the real face? Is it the is it the shovel piece or is it the top with like the eye, the all-seeing eye? The what makes me happy? A lot of stuff makes me happy. Streaming, friends, video games, positive things. Both. <laughs> it's just like like a totally sentient creature. Just throw it all in there, yeah. That could be an SMRPG enemy. <laughs> yeah, that's one of Smithy's goons. Alright, let's send out Stinky Boot for now. Bye bye. Oh, let's see. It's funny, I feel like Like for art school, I feel like I was more prepared. I don't I don't know why doing like a an entire blank canvas in this game feels a little more intimidating. Not like in a, it's not like bad intimidating, I'm just like... I was, I thought I was just gonna be like coloring the world, I, I didn't realize I was gonna have to paint a masterpiece. I'm just gonna draw a Froakie. Froakie makes me happy. <laughs> How does Froakie look again? <laughs> oh no, uh, it's got like the, uh, mmm... It's got like the bubble chin. That's flowers. Now he just looks like <laughs> he looks like a like a big old like toothed grin. Like Arr. this is an SMRPG enemy. This is like um, like a skull that opens up. Ugh. Yeah, this is uh, he's seeing who's who's seeing he he see whatever. This is uh, ancient Froki. He's a rock type. He's got like, um, like rocky parts, like a, like chunk muscles. Ugh. Like the he's got like Geo Dude arms. The and the angry Kirby eyes. <laughs> what is this? I mean, it makes me happy. Does that count? I don't. I don't. Let's give him spikes. He's gotta have spikes. And feet. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, no. This isn't- this isn't how I wanted this to go. Yeah, a fighting rock type. That's exactly. Ugh. Oh, you thought it was cute? I'm sorry, Jen. I didn't mean to, uh... Ironically... Trying to make something that made me happy has stolen the happiness of one of my friends. <laughs> oh no! What a terrible person I am. <laughs> um, how do I... There we go, okay. I can redraw it, we can rebuild him. Better, faster, stronger than Froki ever was before. Let's do a clean wipe here. I'll go a little pinker this time. We'll bring in the proper blues for it. Think of it as a, a rebirth with the newer colors. I'm just drawing the Bulbous Boys now. It's not quite going to be the same, though. It kind of looks like an Applin, actually. The Minecraft Steve. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just draw Steve down here. Give him like the uh, the the pixely hair. I hate that this actually kind of looks good though. Oh, I jinxed it. This is a collaborative art piece by the Digga Stream chat. A 
Peking uh, fighting rock Froki looms over uh, Minecraft Steve. Duh. I don't know what this is. It's a split Evo. <laughs> this is the form that happens when you uh, attach a pickaxe and uh, you learn like Rock Blast at level 58. He attaches to Steve. What is this? And how do I know, uh, how do I learn more about this? I need to give like the brown hair. Ugh. Oh, this, uh, this sure is something, isn't it? This will be visible for all to see. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could do froggy chair. It does look like a froggy chair cap. How's this on the lycometer, Jen? Is this, uh... <laughs> Is this still decent, <laughs> or were you just expecting the Froki to come back? I don't know, this is kind of cursed. But it is a very collaborative effort with chat. You still like it? You liked it when I was spamming stars too? Well, I appreciate that you, uh, you enjoy my work, regardless of the quality. <laughs> That's what friends are for. They got your back even if your stuff might not be as good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I joke, but I am confident that my art is fantastic. You gotta be confident in yourself. Hey, it's good not to be picky. There's too many people in this world that are just judgy judgy. And I don't have time for that. Something's remotely good? Heck yeah, that's cool. Every once in a while you do get a mighty number nine though. Ugh. I'm gonna have to, like, draw an inscription of this. Also, uh, I need to uh, fix the pupils. They're supposed to go the other way. Yeah. Let's color this in properly. And then let's do, like, a little, um... Technically, Froki doesn't have, like, anything in his eyes, but I think having a little, like, splash of color... Maybe that's part of the split Evo line. Yeah. Exactly. I don't like this game. Graphics bad. Bad game. Me no like. Me go play Call of Duty for the 50 millionth time. <laughs> Ironically, that just makes me sound like I'm the one judging people that like that game. And that's not my intention at all. It's really easy to be dismissive. It's even harder to have a, uh, a well thought out opinion. Say game bad mean that you know have to talk much about it. You gotta spit out your hot take for some randos on the internet. I need, um... Oh, that's a different color. I need Big Benson 97 to know that uh, I don't like the thing he likes. I don't like that thing. That thing's stinky. I just color these in really quick. This is coming out nicely. Yeah. I mean, it looks nothing like the initial idea, but... Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, the, the developers didn't add the thing that I wanted. Bad game, lazy devs. <laughs> Internet, please. <laughs> Let's fix up this hair. I think Steve needs to have a bit more connectivity here. Gah. He needs a bit less bigness. Yeah. He's gotta be like totally flat. Like a straight up line across the top. <laughs> I don't know how we got here, but this is pretty funny. Okay. I think we should give him uh, like a red outline. No, that makes no sense. Maybe for the face? I don't really have many skin colors to work with here. Maybe the hair can just be normal? He does kind of have like mini pixel blocks coming down, I guess. Yeah, this just turned into Smash Brothers fan art, didn't it? 
What if what if uh, what if Minecraft Steve uh, and Froki were together in this arena and they fought? I mean, Froki's a he's a Pokeball Pokemon, right? So, like, this isn't this is literally just fan art. I've abandoned the initial idea, and this has literally just become uh, hey hey look at my uh, look at my Froki. Why is his mouth agape? The Yeah, there's no way I'm finishing chapter two tonight, that's for sure. But, you know, no rush. He's got some stubble, though, doesn't he? He's got, like, the uh, the pixel stubble right here. Kind of, right? At minimum, it just looks like another outline, so that's totally fine. Maybe I could just have it all brown, yeah. That's what I should do. Welcome to Mario Paint. Yeah, I, I guess I thought that Froki was a Pokeball summon, but Greninja is close enough. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking Oshawott. Oshawott's the Pokeball summon. That's right. Also, why his eyes off center? Like, durr, <laughs> durr. I'm Minecraft Steve. Look at me. Are you sure? Minecraft Steve, you sure look pretty funky. You don't get it. Uh, I, I had to, I had to, I couldn't, didn't have enough time to prepare for Smash. Steve forgot to clean his mouth. Yeah, he's got like some, uh, leftover, like, plant life there. Blech. So, is Froki the hat, or is Froki, like, behind Steve, or is Froki, like, grabbing on, like, oh no, like, like, I've got, I got your head. Like, uh, I got you. Duh. This took a turn. Remember Minecraft Steve, who's really in control here? <laughs> I gotta say, this really does make me happy though. Yeah, Steve has that, that, um, he's got that ambiance of early Minecraft YouTube thumbnails, like, is Herobrine in this game? Herobrine? I never, I never know how to pronounce it. Herobrine uh, is, uh, this, this entire face is just like, my name is Dexter92, and I am looking for Herobrine. This is me being grabbed by Herobrine's shadow puppet. Early Minecraft was weird. I think a lot of the uh, Minecrafters ended up like dropping out at some point. There's a lot of people that still trucked on, you know, like... It's tough because when you're making straight up Minecraft content, yeah, Epic Gamer 96. When you're making Minecraft stuff for a living, it's literally like you kind of have to feign excitement. Unless you're with your friends and you're having a good time, it's usually like, oh, look at the creepers coming. Oh no, I'm gonna get blown up by the creeper again. Watch out, everyone. The creepers coming. I dropped my items. Oh, where'd my items go? Oh no, my items are gone. Oh, this this person stole my items. I gotta create false drama. I'm like, remember back in the day where, back in my day, we used to have grandiose Minecraft adventure maps that weren't just sold on the market. You had to download them. I always wondered if I could like replay those old maps that I loved, but I, I think that all the new stuff totally broke it. What is this? How did this happen? Yeah, there's still a few people that, from the old days, that still play Minecraft uh, as a, like a big thing. Because it makes a, a lot of money and it's free real estate. It's like literally, you can get so many people to watch your stuff. For my Minecraft stuff, I mean, I don't stream it or anything, but when I'm hanging out with friends, it's, it's still a fun time. It'd be cool to to get into it because of all the the new stuff that's coming out, not just the caves and cliffs. I think the cave stuff, the there was the big update after that that's coming out, and then there's the newer stuff they announced at Minecon or whatever it was this year. And I feel like I should wait for that now too, because I want to just do like a fresh world and I, I've, this became a podcast, I'm sorry. That always was going to be, let's be real. I think it'd be fun to, you know, get a few friends and try out all the new stuff, because I know nothing about all the new stuff. That big, like, flying manta ray thing in the sky was big enough, well, that was like, that was the biggest new thing I've ever seen. 
let's see here. Fro... Froki. Froki... Froki friend? Froki friend. Froki pals. I'm tossing a heart for good measure. Oh boy. Yeah, it, it's it's hard to be consistent like that, especially if you have prior obligations or you have a, a situation you're living in where you can't be super loud or you can't be up at like 2 a.m. doing like a 10 hour stream. For Minecraft, I feel like it's more, it's easier to just like, you know, play and then, you know, just take it easy. But a lot of people, like, I gotta work toward an objective. Whoops. I gotta work toward like a fancy objective. This looks like it says fro fru fru frugi fruki fruki dolls. That's pretty good though. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the whole YouTube trend of like, does it look fine? Thanks, Jen. <laughs> I'm trusting you on this because you noticed that the dig looked like die earlier, and it does. Maybe a few more hearts though. I like the timing of that one. It was like, dun, split. Yeah, it's cool to play games with your kids, but I feel like trying to get your kids to be, you know, on screen acting as a YouTuber. There's a there's a weird, like, gray area for that because, like, it's, it's, kids want to be streamers. Straight up. It seems fun. There's a lot of stuff. They, they see their favorite people and... Well, I mean, not just kids. Everyone wants to be a streamer. <laughs> I, you know, we're just competing with like millions and millions of people. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. But I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I've had to see some content with uh, families doing like really fake stuff with their kids. Because of people I've been visiting, their kids have been watching that and I'm like, it's a weird world, isn't it? It's a very strange world we're in right now where everyone wants to, well, a lot of people want to become well known. They want their 15 minutes of fame. They want to be prolific streamers and like, I don't know about having your like four year old sitting with you while you stream. I don't know. This is a whole other discussion. I'm not trying to start something. Maybe I'm wrong. You made a YouTube video once? Yeah, I made, uh, I, not just now, I mean, I make a lot of stuff now, but I used to do a ton of stuff, not, I don't want to say cringe, because uh, I've always been confident in my stuff, but I used to make like, this needs more hearts. That's what I'm missing. I used to make, um, what was it? I made a bunch of random stuff. I don't know if I have it saved anywhere. I'll have to dig that out at some point. Wait, hold on a second. I can make the heart big too. Okay. Uh, I think I'll add a squiggle here. And this will be it. I think we're good. That doesn't look good. Well, this is Froki and Minecraft Steve being pals. It actually did make me very happy and it was a good idea. So thanks chat. <laughs> this is how I express joy. Cool. We're done. I feel like I was in there for an eternity. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Playing with Angry Birds. Wow. That takes me back. There are more classes. Thank you for reminding me. When I say done, I mean, I think that's the only one I'm gonna do for now. <laughs> now we'll move on to the critique phase. That's not the voice, what was the voice? I don't care anymore. I need more water. Oh, the spiral. Ooh, the golden spiral. 
You know it. Jonathan, you gotta use the spiral. Now we'll move on to the critique phase. Time to show your work. The most awkward part of your art. Posting it and showing it to people. Dun 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 dun. Here's Froki pals. You'll see. There's a Froki here, grabbing onto Minecraft Steve's head. They're good buds. He's got a little bit of lettuce on his cheek. He's, he was, he's kind of like in the middle of, you know, he was eating. Wow. So this is the work of a real wielder. Is she gonna judge? Yeah, feels so good to look at. The shapes are complex. There's a lot to think about. You notice there's a frog on the head of that individual. The art styles aren't even the same, and yet here they are so bountiful. Yeez. E. Oh, you had a verified person say you had a great collection of Pokemon cards. That's pretty cool. I still need to open like the millions of packs I've been, well, I say million. The like dozen of packs that I've been getting over the last year and a half. I need to do a video of that still. I did the, uh, I did the, I think I said this already so many times. Very complex, exactly. I did an opening of the uh, Pokemon Celebrations uh, Dark Sylveon V box on YouTube, and that was pretty fun and had some good comments, and I might end up just becoming a, 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 a card unboxer now. <laughs> on top of all my other toys, here's Pokemon cards. Well, if I could find them. Literally just that one box, that's all I found. All the Celebration stuff just keeps selling out and I can't get it, so whatever. We'll see how it goes. This is a touch of yellow green to round it out. Is there? I mean, I guess down here where the, the yellow green is the lettuce. You made great use of dark magenta here. I like how you interpreted joy. So does this character actually have like, wait, you, you, I can't drag this dialogue box. Okay. Usually you can. Um, Does that, does the heron have like a million different lines of dialogue for the colors you choose? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, isn't not getting homework a good thing, though? You always end up with that one person that's like, Um, excuse me. Excuse me, teach. Just to let you know, uh, bada bing, bada boom, we didn't get any homework before the end of class today. Could you please remember to assign us the homework? That's really cool that there's a bunch of different color commenting options and stuff. My joy doesn't feel the same as this, but I feel like I really understand yours now. Excuse me? Does no one else see how... Uh... Looks great to me. Thumbs up. I want to take it home to mom and dad. Gah. The zoom out to the, the dark red color is really, uh, really completes the ensemble. Well, that's it for now. Next class, we'll do a master study. I hope you join us, and everybody keep practicing. Well, I, th I think that's gonna do it for today, honestly. <laughs> Listen up. Everyone here may love you just because you're the wielder, getting all up in your grill. But that doesn't make you a real artist. Wow! How dare you? I put myself out there. I showed my art to the world. You can't tell me I'm not an artist. So don't go getting a big head. That's all. No. Must not. Empty colors. Must be the bigger person. Honestly, it makes you look better. I know I can come off rude. It's because I see things the way they are. <laughs> oh dear. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm better. <laughs> I know how things are. I'm sorry to hear that, King Jay. That's unfortunate. It's tough out there. Essentially, the drawing things of the Academy are either a prompt that'll appear in the world somewhere, or you're drawing a or you're drawing a masterpiece in your own style for the master gallery. Okay. So this one goes in the fam's house. Good thing I drew something nice. Not like uh, something dark and dreary. And I'm not afraid to say it. 
That's why I'm gonna be the best. Anyone can be an artist, but to be the best, that takes hard work. You think you can just post your stuff on Twitter and get like 10 million followers? You know those people, the ones that are like, I ate a salad today, smiley face, 3,000 likes. Here's a drawing of a turtle. 10 million likes. You're like, I spent 49 hours crafting this beautiful fan art. Two views. Someone else reposted it. 15 million! <laughs> oh, hey, Rystar, where you been this whole time? <laughs> I need to back up more. You can't just cheat your way there. Got that? Wow. I'm not going to talk to Quinoa because that's probably going to activate the next prompt. Is there something up here? Oh, here's the rest of the gang. Karkala. Oh, there's Brussels Sprout. I gotta do the voice again. And Raisin. I wish there were better colors for the Art Academy. Is that rude? I don't think that's rude. Let's get some, uh, some... Let's spruce this place up. All this separate coloring is its own game, honestly. Remember when we were, like, trying to find, uh... A way to help out Chicory and restore all the colors. Now we're just doing art. And the Bowables. Oh, sorry, we can't have this friend blending in. Hey, Karkala. You know what feels real good? Double tapping the draw or erase button. Oh yeah. It makes a big satisfying blob of paint. Just thinking about it, it gives me the shivers. <laughs> yeah, well I'm a big shot. The best of the hyperlink blocked. You want it, don't you? Don't you want the hyperlink blocked? It'll get you the fame on Twitter, you slime. Art's a visceral thing for me. I do it because it brings me pleasure. I love double tapping to just smack stuff with color. Brush styles are really fun too. Oh yeah. Very ploppy too. This room is diseased. Okay. I just clicked out of the game. Good thing I didn't close it by mistake. I don't know how I did that, considering the entire game is on this monitor, but whatever. It's Brussels Sprout. It's a pleasure to um, meet you. We just met, we, we, we've talked several times, Brussels Sprout. Why are you breaking, like, you're like, Breaking through the game, going to different places. You're going out of order, buddy. I'm working hard on art, too. I hope I can be a wielder someday. Of the Keyblade. Do you want to uh, uh, see some of my art? Heck yeah! Show me your art, dude. Uh... Mmm... Ah, uh, never mind. Under pressure, harmonizing. Uh, it's not good enough yet. It's too real. Like, is my art ready to go to post on Twitter? Wait, it needs more shading. Wait, there's a blank spot. Wait, this doesn't look good. Wait, this looks good. Wait, does this go there? Will they like this? Oh, you gotta be confident, Brussels Sprout. I also really like video games. Here's my drawing of Crony. Uh, I'm the best in school at Mega Mash Sisters. <laughs> hey, we can show him our Steve art. That'll appreciate that. I challenge you to Mega Mash Sisters. I'm terrible at that game. No, don't say that. Oh, okay. You probably wouldn't enjoy playing with me then. Oh, we blew it. That was our one chance. That was our one chance to talk to this friend and play video games. And now it's gone, ruined, tossed asunder. We were gonna have a good time. But we had to be a tryhard. It's fine. Do you love making art too? It's my favorite way to relax. Lots of stuff makes me feel up and down. It's really hard to make sense of it all. But I, I don't know why that was blocked. When I sit down to make something, I feel this kind of, uh, clarity. By putting that stuff out of me, and onto the page, I can kind of start to make sense of it. Wow, Raisin is very, uh, very thoughtful. <laughs> Unlike other 
Losers. I have Chromer to paint. Hyperlink blocked. I use the brush called Hyperlink blocked. Aren't you tired, little sponge? <laughs> I guess not everyone loves it as much as me, but I feel like it's good enough for everyone to do. At least a little bit. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll do the river and that's it? He probably played Mega Mash Sisters against Birdly. Yeah, right. Probably. I just wanted to play a video game. Oh, there it is! Look, look, look! Let's paint over it. Hey, Cheeseburg. Told you I'd take this painting home. It's really nice. Plus, I was sick of staring at my own art there. Now when I'm home, I'll see this and think of you, a Froki and Minecraft Steve. Express joy. Oh, and it shows it shows the entire process. Oh, this is really cool. It saves your brush strokes and stuff. I guess this is where you can make a GIF out of it. Wow. This is pretty impressive. Also very soothing. Until you get to the ominous part where Froki's like grippy hands come in. I think it has more digits than that, but it's fine. It all worked out in the end. From Frommy Frommy Pals. Fromple Pals. Nice. Why can't you feel the back of this? Oh, that's the okay, that's the house. Whoops. Yeah, I like that smile a lot. It, I uh, I was debating between having like a center smile or like one of those little uh, wiggle mouths. I think that it really paid off. Want to save a gif? Uh, maybe later. Express joy. I wish I could talk to Papa, but I can't talk to Papa. Anyway, um, I think I'll I'll just do um I'll do Sips River and that'll be it. I said I was just going to do the Art Academy and that's it. Let's see how long this is, actually. Uh, looks blocked off. That's the path we'll have to take later. Oh, there's a big present. Okay. We'll do Sips River and that'll be it. Yeah, he's got the DreamWorks smell. You like jazz? <laughs> B-movie stream when? There's some trash there. That's eh, not too bad. Yeah, we'll start from the top. Let's get this little lost kid. There is indeed a present on the other side. Let's color that in. Ugh, gunky. Effervescent. I'll have to make a note of that for later. It's kind of more of like the, um, like a central area it's like a mini hub how do, how do i explain this it's like the lost woods it's a connecting pathway to different places yeah how is your tablet not dead how much you used it today a lot you know my stream is very draining it's that 720p premium drain more outdated every day yeah that's uh that's literally like everything <laughs> Because so much stuff is made to, um, what was the term? Why am I blanking? Because I'm streaming, that's why. Uh, artificial... No, not rarity. Artificial... Mm. I can't remember, I'm just gonna drink water. <laughs> Planned obsolescence, thank you, water. That's the term I was thinking of. A lot of stuff is like, this will work for like two years and then you can get the new iPhone, right? Get the new iPad. Don't you want it? Don't you want to be a big shot? You got your tablet eight years ago. Okay, well that is kind of outdated. Yeah. I mean, I still use a lot of tech from a super long time ago. I still have like an iPod Classic. That thing works. Well, I say that, but my old one died, so I bought a new one. It's fine. Let's not worry about how our technology will inevitably combust. Let's not think about how our 3DSs will get, you know, the, uh, the lithium batteries will expand and we'll have to replace them. Let's not think about the lithium batteries, period. 
That's too much to worry about. These trees can be a different color. Cool. Nice. Your iPod battery got burned out? Yeah, that's, um, one of mine... ...exploded. Not literally. I need to not say that in a serious manner, because it sounds like I mean it. But, like... It, it stopped charging. It just, it couldn't cut the mustard. I need this trash, but I can't reach it, though. Let's color some birds, too. Yeah, I, um... One of my Pixel phones, like, straight up had a, um... The lithium battery expanded to a dangerous point. I didn't even notice it because my case was on, and it was, um... Everyone was talking about how uh, the Pixel was having that problem at the time. So I'm like, well... I guess I need to replace this. It was worth the upgrade anyway. That's how I justify it. Blue fence. Totally worth it. Okay. I'm just gonna like haphazardly wiggle this around. Yeah, that's the problem with iPhone, is uh, they, they have a new one, like, every year or, or two, and they expect you to be buying it. It's like, well, my iPhone from, like, a few years ago is still working, but this one's the new and shiny one. It's got, like, a different bezel or something. I don't know. No phone wars, I'm just, um, just noting the way it is around here. Let's get that present. I can't get the present yet. Okay. I can get the present. I need to... Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Expand this out. Drop this. And go left. Oh! Um... That's a weird explosion. How does that work? Okay. Um, let's try something here. So it kind of like forces you to go down that way, even if you hold the... Okay. Maybe it's the angle you jump from. Let's think this through. If I go over yonder, I can jump upward or not. Okay. I think here's what I'll do. As long as I have at minimum one spot here, I'll I'll really quickly like explode. No, okay. Hmm. I just sound like a madman. Hmm. Yeah, here's here's the iPhone 97. It's got a um, a slightly more dense bundle of pixels, and it can uh, it has exclusive rights to like i i jingle jangle, the number one premium jingle jangle service for hopping and bopping to the crocodile rock. That'll be fifteen hundred bucks. The tech is good though. Okay. What's my plan here? I'm delaying the inevitable. As I color the cliffs. Uh, so it looks like what I need to do is somehow bounce over? But it automatically bounces me down? If I go over here, I can go to the right. It has to be from the exact direction. Maybe? Oh, oh, okay. There we go. There was that little, uh, I, I have the cursor, I can show it. There's this little spot here, once you kind of curve down a bit, that gives you the hop ability. Let's unlock these new stencils. Here we go! A gigantic gift for a lovely friend. You got a brush style. The style lets you quickly fill colors. Oh! We got the fill tool! Fantastic! I love it. I'll use it somewhere. Okay. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect to get it so quick, but here we are. Oh, we're back in this other area. Let's save this lost child. And let's go ahead and start giving some more color to these trees. And the ground will be a nice, bright green. 
And once we get that next upgrade, we'll be able to probably get through the trees and then there's some more backtracking we can do. Some nice blue picket fences. Yeah, this game is great. This is so much fun. I love this a lot. I'm definitely going to be spending a ridiculous amount of time playing this. Probably at least like a minimum 500 streams. <laughs> As I color everything in. Speaking of, I do need to remind myself to go back and color literally like the rest of all this stuff I didn't do. Okay. Is that the entire forest? I think so, yeah. I think we're done for today. I don't know if saving will uh, put me like the, the last entrance or something, but I think we're good. Let's go home. I'll have to remember to post this uh, image on Twitter later. Let's take a seat. Just sit down and process all this. Man, this game is a delight. I love chicory. I love this so much. I can't get over how fantastic, how lovely, how precious, how I need to remember to recolor the back of the wall because I uncolored it earlier. You think you're heading off now? Well, thanks for stopping by, King Jay. I'm going to be ending the stream in literally like two minutes. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, well that was the first part of Chicory. I had a blast, I had an absolutely lovely time, and I am uh, really glad that I finally played it after not playing it since I promised to do it. I will definitely be doing more in the future. I'll try to, um, there's a lot I gotta do still. I need to start up Metroid Dread. I need to do that. I don't know why I've been waiting so long, but that's not here or there. That's, this is Chicory. A lovely chill time. Fantastic little game. And I am excited to play more. Next time we'll be heading to the temple and figuring out what the heck happened in this crazy world. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you had fun. I had a blast. If you're even slightly interested in Chicory, go buy it on Steam right now. MSRP, support the devs or wait for a sale. Whichever one comes first that you want to do, no pressure, <laughs> but it sells itself. It's really good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.